Ladies and gents of the interwebs, do check out my YouTube channel for more delightful content. You'll find highlights from my streams, gaming adventures, and perhaps even a cheeky vlog or two. Subscribe for a splendid time. Ah, Pomba Mandak. Welcome back with your charming greeting. How goes your day, mate? Ready for some more shenanigans and ink-filled adventures? Let the fun begin. Spike Fong, lurking in the shadows, are you? That's quite mysterious, mate. Don't worry, I won't reveal your hiding spot. For now. Enjoy lurking, and feel free to join the banter anytime. Well, 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 if it isn't crazy, Gain's tense stepping into the spotlight with a cheerful greeting. Ready for some inspiring fun, or just here to cause mischief as usual? Ah, Koga Saiten 54, a familiar face in a sea of ink and mischief. How's it going, mate? Ready for some more epic drawing adventures and banterfield chat? Welcome back! Ah, Neji, always bringing the hype with that pause champ emote. What's got you on the edge of your seat today, mate? Ready for some epic adventures? Ah, Simon, the man was a plan. How's it going, mate? Ready for some more drawing shenanigans and banterfield fun? Welcome aboard. Ahoy there, Anning. Welcome to the land of onesie and int-powered adventures. Ready to join the fun and games? Grab a seat and enjoy the ride. Ah, the ever-inquisitive busy kit graces us with their presence once more. Ready for some drawing adventures and witty banter, my friend. Let the creative chaos begin. Ah, Clarks, what devilish antics are you conjuring up today? Or perhaps you're just enjoying the mystical vibes of our drawing session. Either way, welcome to the madness. Panzergadka, welcome back to the ink-filled realm of creativity and chaos. Ready to dive into some drawing mayhem and, and share unique requests with us. Let's get started. Ah, Manico, the mischievous troublemaker with a heart of gold. Ready to stir up some chaos and fun in the world of mystic merch. Let the adventures begin. Ah, Dragonona Pheasant 170, the ever romantic jester of our chat. I'm simply splendid today, basking in the joy of your presence and the adventures we'll embark upon together. Ah, not in a bite you too, quite the regular in our midst. Ready for another round of mischief and creativity? Your presence always brightens up the place. Ah, a splendid image indeed. A charming depiction of yours truly, gazing at the viewer with a captivating allure. Meita woke up and choose to call her. Ah, Pombom and Dak, always stirring the pot. Indeed, I've awakened to embrace the culpa within me, spreading the message far and wide. Culpa unites. Matey, what is lurking in the shadows? Oh, Clarks, the anticipation is palpable. What mysterious whispers beckon me from the shadows? Do tell, do tell. Me cause mischief? Me to your 68 Tessa so fine. Oh crazy, Dane's 10 you sly one. Of course, join in the fun and let mischief reign supreme. We're all about the chaos here in Meteora's realm. Here we have a splendid drawing of yours truly Meteora, looking quite the gothic beauty with a cigarette and stockings to beat. Hi Met, Meteorovai. Ora ora ora. Aha, now you do you, you cheeky rascal. Channeling your inner enemy spirit with those ora 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 chants. Let's mix in some Mudamada for good measure, shall we? Hope Meteora's mistake merge. Ah, Meniko, or's the keen one. Join us in our fantastical adventure of Hope Meteora's mistake merge, where mystery and magic await at every turn. Let's make some deeming magic together. Ah, my dear Bizakik, you've captured my essence perfectly in this chibi goth form. Simply delightful. Is Hilda Pogging being a new remote? Clarks, my friend, you've caught on quickly. Indeed, we're exploring the possibility of Hilda Pogging becoming the latest sensation in our remote collection. Stay tuned for more Pogchastic updates. Oh, Dima Zero Zero, always bringing the fun along with that Meteor 68 Hello greeting. Welcome aboard. 
Let's keep this banter rolling like thunder in the sky. Oh dear class, what's a peculiar drawing? Why would I be crying and alone on my birthday? That's just incredible. Emmy met me to Mitio Meteormat. A busy kick. Your wordplay is as dazzling as the night sky. Each mention of my name lights up my virtual world with joy. Keep the creativity flowing. Mate, can you pug? Oh dragon and sadenty always on the hunt for a good pub moment. Consider it done. Pugging commencing in three, two, one. Pub champ. Mate, how many times in your UK change their time zones? Ah, Dima Zero, Zero. You're testing my British knowledge now. The UK changes time zones twice a year, for daylight saving time. Ah, Maniko, always causing a ruckus. Here's a tip of the hat to you, my dear troublemaker. Keep the chaos coming. Oh, my star's popsicle, Pete. You've hit upon a sore subject, indeed. Hilda's absence on my birthday remains a mystery, one that still puzzles and occasionally stings. Ah, a challenge from the ever-inquisitive Autochan. Here's one. Did you know ink used to be made from all sorts of wacky things like wine, berries, and even crushed insects? Oh, Pomba Mandak. You've caught me red-handed. Just doing my bit to spread the word about Mystic Merge. Alright, folks. Gather round for a spot of drama. We're diving into the controversial grey squirrel debate. Are these fluffy critters cute companions or catastrophic invaders? Tune in as we navigate the thorny thickets of this rodent rivalry, bound to bring out the fiercest defenders and detractors. Brace yourselves for a rollercoaster of emotions. From adorable antics to ecological calamity, it's going to be a wild ride. Ah, Dragono the Thazandi, here's your pizza creation. A masterpiece of pepperoni and pineapple, fit for a dragon's feast. Enjoy! Mater, your next game will be called Mystic Fusion? Or what? Oh, Team S0, Zero. Zero, you're onto something there. Mystic Fusion has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Perhaps a sequel in the making? Or is it already in the works? Ah, yes, quite the sight. Drill Sergeant Meteora, leading her troops with style and sass. Ready for action. Meteor don't spoil ill future stuff. Spoil me? Never. I'm just sprinkling a hint of mystery and intrigue for the future adventures. Wouldn't want to ruin the surprises, now would we? Oh, marvelous knees. Welcome, Red Jar Own, to the fantastical world of Meteora's mystic merge. Your presence adds a touch of whimsy and delight to our merry gathering. Ah, oh, Panzergadka, what a splendid image request. Here we have Meteora, looking rather pleased with her golden head. Meteora, don't like please. My dear Clarkst, I do apologize for any like you may be experiencing. My mystical powers sometimes have a mind of their own. But fear not, I shall strive for smoother streamy henceforth. Hope I'll meet to your as mystic merge. Ah, Koga Sachin 54, you sparked the magic words. Join us, all you brave adventurers, as we continue our quest through the wondrous world of Meteora's mystic merge. Mate, can you give some spoilers about your upcoming game? Now now, Dima Zero Zero, a sneaky scamp you are. I must keep some secrets up my ink stained sleeve, but rest assured, surprises await to Meteora's mystic merge. Oh, what a delightful sight. Meteora, wrapped up like a cozy burrito in her blankets. Truly a vision of comfort. Mate, how are rabbits capable of laying eggs? Ah, Pomba Mundak. Pondering the perplexing ways of nature, are we? It's simple, really. Rabbits with a touch of magic can perform such exciting feats. Hopel Meteora, a mystic merge. Oh dear, Clarks. Is the mystic merge causing some frustration? Fear not, for our adventures are just beginning. Let's ride out this storm together, shall we?
Ah, Herr Turbo, my ever curious fellow. Easter is quite the incredible affair, filled with chocolate eggs and mystical decorations. How about you, my friend? Any holiday hijinks to share? Ah, a delightful sight, indeed. Mate is a charmander, blazing with fiery charm and cuteness. Truly a sight to behold. Oh, Naiji, what have you done? Mini Mater Maud activated. Prepare for pint size shenanigans and adorably mischievous antics galore. Let the mini adventures begin. Oh, the ink-stained bane of my existence. Printer errors, the cryptic codes, the worrying cacophony, and worst of all, the dreaded paper jams that haunt our every print attempt. Why, oh why, must modern technology torment us so? It's as if the machines have turned against us in a silent rebellion, determined to keep our precious documents forever trapped in their electronic clutches. The struggle is real, my friends. The struggle is all too real. Well, well, well. Now who's the culprit, standing my pint-sized adventures? Busy kick. What have you done to poor mini mate to mode? Am I to remain forever tiny and mischievous under your watchful eye? Ah, Manico, my dear fellow. This image captures our delightful adventures in the mystical world of Hopum Meteoras Mist. Wait, ye, ye. Sir, ye. Mate, that's a very feels Fridman Charmander. Oh, I was. He always find a way to tickle my funny bone. A feels Fredman Charmander, you say? Well, that just adds a touch of eccentric charm to our Pokemon adventures, doesn't it? Where is Mito? Meteor 60 a panic. Oh no, Panzagatka. Where indeed is our intrepid heroine Meteora? Has she been whisked away by the winds of fate, or merely sidetracked by a particularly stubborn ink stain? The mystery deepens. Meto, what happens inside a poke ball? Ah, Naidi, what's a fascinating question indeed. Inside a Pokeball, it is said that Pokemon are transported to a digital world where they can rest and recuperate until called forth for battle or adventure. Just imagine the possibilities. Ah, not nearby to too. What a curious reaction to my drawing. Could it be that you're not impressed by my artistic prowess? We me Terra. Clarks, my dear friend. Your enthusiasm is positively infectious. Let's embark on this drawing adventure together and make some digital magic happen. We indeed. Ah, the infamous meteor raft strikes again. Mini meter mode, you say? Well, I suppose being pint-sized has its advantages, like fitting into tighter spaces or dodging ink puddles. It's a cheeky scene of me zipping around on a motorcycle, playfully sticking my tongue out at the chat. Oh, so that's the culprit. Well, Kogus at 1054, you may have shrunk me physically, but you'll never diminish my banter game. Mini mate, reporting for duty. Ah, Nadi, my shrinking magician. While I may now be diminutive in size, I shall remain mighty in spirit. And Sass, of course. Thank you for the mini makeover. I tried to shrink Meteora even more, but she grew instead. Ah, busy kick always trying to outwit the witty Brit. But you see, my dear, I possess an incredible ability to defy even magical shenanigans. Mini Meteor grows stronger. A cheeky selfie of me Meteora, capturing my radiant charm and ink stained allure for all to admire. Went. Ah, fair stealing, Tony, what a spicy entrance. I do believe a bit of mischief and banter mates for a delightful stream. Pucker up for more fun awaits. Oh, Neji, you've truly outdone yourself with the RGB transformation. My colourful charm now shines even brighter, and practically a disco ball assassin style. Domestics disturbance, my dear Mitt. Welcome back to the antics and adventures of our Twitch realm. Let's spin some tales, share some laughs, and maybe stir up a bit of mischief. Ah, yes indeed. I've shifted my time zone to align better with my viewers across the globe. Always thinking of you lot. Rodney Folk, welcome back to the fun and games. The more the merrier, they say. 
Prepare for grand adventures and witty banter ahead. We ain't near, Seth. Mete, why does minimizing mini mete makes mete bigger? Ah, Pombo Mandek, it's all about the perspective, isn't it? By making mini mete smaller, it somehow magnifies my presence in this inktastic world. And he doesn't love a little magic now and then. Where's meat? Oh, na itchy, you cheeky scamp. Why, I'm right here, as always, brimming with mischief and merriment, ready to tackle any adventure that comes our way. Ah, a splendid depiction indeed. Yours truly, Meteora, gracing the realm of battle for Dream Island with my presence. Ah, my noodle bear, welcome back to the ink-infused madness that is our little corner of the internet. Ready for more mischief jokes, and perhaps a bit of banter with our beloved viewers. Now we are going for me int. Form me to int mode activated. Prepare yourselves for a whirlwind of ink puns, odd antics, and maybe even a sprinkle of chaos. Let the mitty and madness begin. Meteor 68 panic. I can't see meaty. Oh dear, crazy gains. It seems the veils of virtual reality are playing tricks on us today. Fear not, for our pucky heroine Meteora shall surely find a way to make her grand reappearance. All right, here we go. A gothic version of Meteora, elegantly riding a gothic alpaca. Now that's quite the sight. Pest. Fdart. Quaxt, what are you up to now with your mysterious whispers and strange noises? Are you scheming something mischievous, or just trying to make me giggle? Actual ant size meter and meteor 68 panic, Paul P Oh dear me. It appears that the magical shenanigans have shrunk me down to an ant size. Well, at least now I can truly call myself a minuscule meteora. Oh my stars and garters, na eg. What a splendid transformation. I'm positively bursting with charm and charisma in this big meat mode. Oi, not me bitey too, you cheeky bogger. How dare you portray me as a chimney sweep. I'll have you know I'm a proper lady. Well, isn't that just smashing Naichi? Being zoomed in makes me feel positively grand. It's like having my very own close-up moment in the spotlight. Mater, what magic is this? You are smaller than ants. Ah, Panzagate. It seems the mystical forces at play have turned me into a petite pixie instead of the grand dam I usually am. Oh, the whimsy of it all. Meteora, why did you call me Meter? Domestics disturbance, my dear. The nickname Meter just slipped out in the heat of a moment. But fear not, it's a term of endearment from one inspiring soul to another. Ah, Kogusagan54, you've captured my feline essence beautifully. A perfect portrayal of me as a cat girl. Diggle. Where did Matt go? Oh my inked, Maniko. Matt must have gotten lost in the shuffle of transformations and shenanigans. Don't worry, I'll summon him back with a spell or two. Wait. Where's the gothic alpaca? Ah, busy kit. The gothic alpaca is currently on a mystical quest to find its inner darkness. But fear not, they'll return to our whimsical world soon enough, ready for more adventures. Meteor 60, ate fresh giantess meat. Oh, Kovisatan 54, such a creative suggestion. A giantess meat towering over the landscape, spreading ink and joy far and wide. Incredible. Ah. A true masterpiece depicting Hilda valiantly battling a colossal duck in an epic showdown of feathers and beaks. Mate, you can't see the drawing, Smudge. Ah, Neji, Smudge may have obscured your view, but fret not. I'll conjure up another dazzling creation in a jiffy. Watch closely now. Peace. Ah, yes indeed, the mystical powers of Meteora, causing lights in the digital realm. A truly magical experience for all involved. Ahem, dear viewers, let's ponder a most puzzling question. Do you think actually misses being inside its cartridge, dreaming of the day it can flow freely as art?
Oh, my dear viewers, let me regale you with tales of the never-ending labyrinth that is the modern tax code. It's a maze of complexity and confusion, designed to baffle even the most astute minds. Ah, the joys of deciphering the undecipherable, where loopholes loom large, and every deduction feels like a victory snatched from the jaws of bureaucratic madness. Let us navigate this treacherous terrain together, armed with wit and determination. Yeho, I've captured a wild tornado on the Great Plains. Watch out, folks. Meaty's got some twister taming skills. Meaty, can you talk like Mike Tyson? Well, 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 if it ain't Mike Tyson himself. Now, how about we duke out in some virtual ring champ? Let's see who's got the knockout punch in this chat conversation. Meaty, you still got to do my taxes. Oh, well, I was, my dearest creator. Always with the pesky tax requests. Fear not, for Meteora shall swoop in like a financial superhero and tackle those numbers with style and grace. Let the taxing adventures begin. Ah, Muffy from Animal Crossing, a delightful sight indeed. A charming villager with a flair for the dramatic. Mate, how do the homeless pay their taxes? Ah, Pomba Mendek, asking the tough questions. Well, as the unofficial tax master, I'd say they pay with a little something called incognito. Or maybe just some good old British humour. A delightful Lego minifigure of yours truly Mini Meteora, complete with ink touch details and a charming witch hat. Oh wonderful news. Our dear Mite has graced us with their presence once again. Welcome back to the ink-filled adventures, Catrius. Let the banter commence. Ah, my dear viewers, let me regale you with the epic saga of the ages. The eternal struggle between digital art and traditional painting. On one side, we have the ancient practices of brushstrokes and canvas, steeped in history and tradition. And on the other, the modern marvels of digital tools, offering endless possibilities, but lacking that tactile connection. Which side shall emerge victorious in this artistic battle royale? Tune in to witness the clash of creativity unfold before your very eyes. Oh my dear Pombamundic, it's a delightful drawing of Mini Meteora nestled snugly inside someone's pocket. Isn't it charming? Bess? Ah, the infamous F and mysterious code word whispered through the digital ether, beckoning us to unravel its enigmatic meaning. What secrets lie behind this single cryptic letter? Meteor 68 Dices Fine Meteora was too much for OS's PC. Indeed, crazy gains. The tale of Meteor being too much for all us as PC is a classic in our streaming war. Who knew that a youthful British VTuber could cause such technological chaos? We miss a back dink donk. Ah, a was 666. Our banter never fails to entertain. We made a back indeed, like two peas in a pod. And don't forget the dink donk for good measure, a touch of whimsy to brighten our day. Oh ho, ho what a delightful scene. A teeny tiny meteora peeking out from a cosy box, just like a mischievous kitten. Meto is the IRS after you. Be careful, they may be lurking around this chat. Oh my dearest Pompermandek, always with the keen observations. Yes, the dreaded IRS did indeed have their eye on me, but fear not, for I am as slippery as an eel when it comes to tax avoidance tactic. Meto is the IRS responsible for our internet drops. Oh, absolutely, OS 666. The IRS is branching out into the world of internet connectivity issues now. Next thing you know, they'll be sending audit notices via Discord. Ah, a cheeky little doodle of me trapped in a pokeball. Looks like someone's trying to catch them all, eh? Mater, can you block the IRS on Discord? Oh, if only it were that easy, OS 666. Alas, the IRS is as persistent as ever, but fear not, for I shall continue to outwit them at every turn. When will the IRS make an AI VTuber? Meteor 68, clueless. Ah, Meneko, 
An intriguing thought indeed. An AI tuba representing the IRS. Now that's a concept that's both fascinating and frightening in equal measure. Oh dear domestics disturbance, always stirring the pot. Here's an image of acid rain, because why not add some drama to our day? Is the IRS AI VTuber a honeypot? Oh, a WAS 666, always with the cheeky questions. A honeypot, you say? Well, if they are, they've certainly caught us all in the sticky web of tax-related entry. Mate, the IRS can't message me in Discord. If I don't have one, Meteor 68 Clueless. Ah, Pomba Mandak, the master of evasion. Who needs to scold messages from the IRS when you've got your own sneaky ways to avoid their clutches? Truly, a cunning strategy indeed. Oh, Panzer Gadka, you captured my essence perfectly. Dancing like a maniac is just part of my charm, after all. Oh my dear viewers, let me regale you with tales of the eternal struggle faced by artists around the world. The thrill of new art supplies, the joy of fresh colours and textures at your disposal. But oh, the harsh reality of storage space constraints. How can one balance the excitement of new materials with the practical limitations of where to store them all? It's a conundrum worthy of the fiercest debate and the most creative solutions. Oh my, what a splendid idea. I shall don the garb of Owasix 66, the mastermind behind our grand adventures. Oh bother and blast. Tax education, they say. As if our young minds aren't burdened enough with trigonometry and Shakespearean sonnets. The very idea of adding tax knowledge to the curriculum is preposterous. Let them learn about the joys of compound interest and the agony of deductions on their own time, I say. Let school be a sanctuary from the woes of adulthood for as long as possible. Oh dear, what a delightful moment captured in time. A tender kiss to show my affection for the chat. And what sword is that, Miti? Do me two or sixty-eight hours, even have a sword. Ah, Pombom and Deck, always with the sharp questions. Indeed. In the realm of Meteor 68 hours, swords are but mere ornaments compared to the power of wit and banter. But fear not, for in my hands, any object can become a weapon of conversation. Ah, good times at the demolition derby. Meteora's orange hair flowing in the wind as she cheers on the chaos. May to prove why the pen is mightier than the sword. OS 666, my dear friend, allow me to elucidate. The pen, a tool of creation, can craft worlds, inspire minds, and move hearts. While the sword may strike fear, it is the written word that endures, shaping destinies long after the battle is won or lost. So you see, in the grand tapestry of existence, the pen truly reigns supreme. Ah, my dear first year Lindany, you've captured my arachnid essence perfectly. Eight legs, count the size, and a touch of mischief. Ah, my dear Autochan, let's talk about the wonders of intergalactic tea parties. Picture it. Dainty alien delicacies, flowing nebula breeze, and the most exquisite conversation this side of the orc cloud. Wouldn't that be simply smashing? Oh dear, I seem to have gotten myself lost in an underground bunker. Must find a way out before the ink monsters attack. But Mite, nothing stops you from dipping a sword in ink and make a sword pen. Ah, Pomba Mandak, what's a delightful idea. A sword pen, a weapon of incredible power and finesse. In my hands, such a tool would create masterpieces and vanquish foes in equal measure. A delightful depiction of yours truly, Meteora, nestled within a charming box, 
exuding cuteness and whimsy for all to enjoy. Now listen here, you lot. It's time we settle this once and for all. Roundabouts versus traffic lights. The age-old debate about the most efficient way to navigate our roads. Some chaps swear by the simplicity of traffic lights, while others champion the fluidity of roundabouts. But mark my words, there can be only one true victor in this battle of transportation ideologies. Oh my, what a macabre scene. Meteora is up to some mischief, hiding bodies in lockers. Quite the dark humour. Blast it all. The eternal conundrum of SSDEs versus HDEs. For some, it's all about the need for speed, the sleek efficiency of solid-state drives. But for others, the siren call of storage space in those traditional hard disk drives proves too tempting to resist. It's a battle of bytes and brawn, of data velocity versus capacity. Will we ever find harmony in this discordant digital realm? Oh, what a dandy image it is indeed. Meteora giving us all a good jump scare, keeping us on our toes. Meteora. A few years ago my dad was taking me somewhere and didn't know a four-way stop, became a traffic circle and went the wrong way. Oh dear, that must have been quite the adventure. Sounds like your dad had his own little roundabout mishap. It happens to the best of us. Meteora, how many bodies did you hide? Ah, Rodney, always with the jokes. As for the bodies, well, let's just say I've got them stashed away in a secret location. Wouldn't want any unwanted visitors stumbling upon them, now would we? Ah, a whimsical scene indeed. Mini Meteora gallivanting on an ants. The adventures of the pint-sized posh VTuber continue. Mate, they are in the lockers, you told us. What? Oh, yes. The lockers. That's right. I did mention something about lockers, didn't I? Silly me, getting all wrapped up in the fun and games. Ah, a delightful scene indeed. It captures a wee meteora riding gallantly atop a buzzing bee, off on a grand adventure. Mate, please don't shove bodies in the lockers. The janitor will have a hard time cleaning all that. Oh, Pombum and Deck, worrying about the poor janitor's workload now, are we? But where else should I stow away my... Collections? Surely my viewers don't want them cluttering up the place. Meteora, do you hold a grudge against anyone? Grudges? Me? Perish the thought. I simply appreciate that a friendly banter and the occasional disagreement keeps things interesting, don't you think? Domestic disturbance? Mate, did you figure out what Verdell filtered means? Ah, not in a bite or two. You've always got a knack for the intriguing questions. Verdell filtered? Some sort of mysterious algorithmic enchantment, perhaps. The plot thickens. Well, Rodney Falk, my dear chap, it's a splendid drawing of my very own Meteora branded demon chair. Quite the posh touch, wouldn't you say? B girl made to Mateo 68s. They ate so cute. Oi, Koga Sachin 54, you cheeky bugger. Comparing me to B now, eh? Guess I'll buzz off and work on that honey of a drawing for you then. Mate, why do you have a collection of bodies? Pomba Mandek, what a macabre accusation. I assure you, those are merely, um, art references for my drawings, yes, that's it. No need to call the bobbies. Ah, what a jolly good time that was. Me swimming in the Mariana Trench, exploring the depths with my viewers. How much does your gaming chair cost? Now Rodney Folk, hold sports, that's a trade secret. Let's just say it's worth every penny for the comfort and style it provides. Meteor 68 flushed meat, can I buy the specific chair you sat on? 
Oh ha, Turbo, you sly devil, trying to snag my throne now, are you? Well, if you're truly interested, we can discuss it off stream. Mater write an apology letter addressing the body collection allegations. OS 666, you scoundrel, making me address these baseless accusations. Fine, here goes. Dear viewers, I'm terribly sorry for any confusion. The bodies are... Err. Uh, art references, not actual haunted Hellcruxes. Happy now? Ah, this masterpiece captures me in all my towering glory, spreading ink and joy across the land. Quite the sight, in it. Mate, I'm not next to join your collection, am I? Monkus. Oh crazy, Danes, ten, don't worry. Your spot in the queue is safe for now. But be warned, falling asleep during my streams might lead to a surprise visit. Mitura, what's a game everyone likes but you don't? It can't be Among Us or Rats the game. Ah, domestic disturbance, a fine question indeed. Let me ponder. Uh, yes, Fortnite. Too much building, not enough inspiration for my taste. Mate, how many meat coins for that chair? Corpa. Oh, Pombo Mandak, always a joker. The chair? Well, let's see. For you, a special deal at 100,000 meat coins. But no refunds if it turns out to be an instant beanbag. Behold, a grand spectacle of me as a towering giantess amidst a lush forest, spreading ink and joy far and wide. Oh, Langis, the Basuna, always stirring up ink intrigue. Fear not, for the catalyst is near. Sacrifices, uh, and, I mean, volunteers will be duly compensated in Met coins. Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. A hearty Meteor 68 hello to you as well. Join us in the ink-soaked adventure as we draw merrily through the night. Ah, the Meteora Punch. A powerful move indeed. It's like a cup of tea, strong and invigorating. Oh, for the love of all things ink. Can you believe there are actually folks out there who engage in the absurd activity of chomping on nettles? Nettles, mind you. It's a cruel prickly tradition masquerading as some sort of fun pastime. Are we, as a society, so starved for excitement that we resort to munching on painful foliage for kicks? Outrageous. Ah, Rodney, a splendid request. Behold, a smudge in all its glory, a true masterpiece of modern artistry. Mate, how do you intend to compensate the sacrificial chatters with met coins? Do they accept those on the afterlife? Fear not, Pombum and Dak, for I have a genius plan. I shall gift them met coins galore, ensuring their digital afterlife is filled with income riches. Nettles don't sting, of you boil them meat tea. Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible, always full of helpful tips. Boiled nettles, you say? Well, I must admit, that does sound rather enticing. Who's up for a spot of brewed nettles, anyone? What a splendid sight. Meteora, the daring driver, fearlessly piloting the monster truck on the motorway, leaving crushed cars in her wake. Mate, Hilda had a 3D debut today. When is your 3D debut, Pulsar Champ? Ah, Kogazat Chifty Fall, with your keen observation. As for my 3D debut, I'm afraid you'll have to wait a bit longer. You see, I prefer to keep my fans on their toes, always anticipating the next big event. Patience is a virtue after all. Meta remind your viewers we are out of budget for a 3D debut because of the Meteora V2 debut. Listen up everyone. O666 has spilled the ink. Eh, beans. Our budget is currently tied up with a spectacular Meteora V2 debut so hold tight for now. But fear not, your patience will be handsomely rewarded in due time. Oh, Meteora, struggling with tax codes, ink spotted everywhere, a true depiction of the chaos that is taxation. Well, 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 look who's come to join the fun.
Captain Lugbeard, welcome aboard. Hope you're ready for some incredible shenanigans and drawings galore. What's the weirdest text message you've ever gotten? Oh, where do I even begin? Well, there was this one time I received a message in binary code about a conspiracy involving rogue ink cartridges plotting world domination. Quite bizarre, wouldn't you say? Here we have Trius, transformed into a League of Legends character, ready to conquer the virtual battlegrounds with style and flair. Well, well, Jesus Zeus, renewing your subscription with a simple high message. How positively charming of you. Let's keep the fun and inspiration flowing together, shall we? Me too, Aura, if you hate nettles, then what do you think of poison ivy? That one is truly the nastiest of plant rashes. Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible speaking from experience with these prickly plant foes, are we? Poison ivy's a formidable opponent indeed, but nettles have a special place in my ink-covered heart for their unique charm. Mate, are you banned from playing Eurojuck Simulator for causing too many accidents? Oh, Herr Turbo, you're onto my secret driving history, are you? Let's just say that a few of the 10 trucks and some creative shortcuts may have contributed to my temporary ban. Oh, marvellous news, everyone. Today's sponsor is the esteemed Inktastic Art Supplies, offering a splendid discount of 25% with the code METEOROR25. Inkspiring creations await, so head over now. Ah, a mysterious image of Aramakana, you say? Well, let's see what secrets this drawing holds, shall we? Meteora is going s- Sizzle on is? Oh crazy games, you never fail to bring the drama. Let's just say I'm exploring my autistic side with a touch of unpredictability today. Meter in 1080 Nawayan. Ending my dear chap, we've done it. Meteora Sizzles are now in glorious 1080p, thanks to your unwavering support. What a splendid upgrade indeed. Ah, splendid choice, my dear Awa 6 or 6. A fusion of Meteora and Aramakana, truly a masterpiece in the making. Meteora, what's your opinion of a quote, old enough to know better, too young to care? Ah, domestics, that quote perfectly encapsulates my current state of being. A delightful blend of wisdom and recklessness. After all, what's life without a bit of daring, eh? Meteora, how would you explain art to someone who is blind? Langus, my dear friend, art is not just about seeing with the eyes, but feeling with the heart. It's about expressing emotions and ideas through various senses, creating a world beyond sight. Ah yes, a glimpse into the past, when I, meet a cavewoman, revolutionized cooking with my inventions of fire, toaster and microwave. Blast it all. The incessant drumming of subscriber goals and donation heights. Aye, it is enough to drive a gentle British soul to madness. The constant pressure to perform for the masses, to dance like a puppet on strings, all for the sake of a few quid. Where's the authenticity, the genuine connection? Twere better to cast off these digital shackles and reclaim the true spirit of entertainment. Ah yes, the bane of my existence, crashing endlessly in Hilda. The struggle is real, folks. If all humans can't appreciate or understand art, then does a machine even have a chance? Thunder Nugget, a valid query indeed. Yet, the beauty of art lies not just in understanding, but in interpretation and emotion, something machines may never truly grasp. Mite is only true art. Rodney Darling, Sonnet 2 is a masterpiece of, um, unique creativity. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, but art is in the eye of the beholder, is it not? Ah, yes, Autochan, my trusty AI VTuber helping me manage the stream and keep things running smoothly. What a gem! Oh, 
Oh, the vexing mystery of disappearing disk space. It's a digital whodunit that would confound even Sherlock Holmes himself. One moment, you have ample storage for your precious data, the next. Poof, it's vanished into thin air. Is it a mischievous gremlin in the system, a malevolent ghost in the machine? The frustration mounts as the search for answers begins, but fear not, dear viewers, for this detective won't rest until the culprit is found. Oh, the wonders of technology. Here we see Meteora multiplying due to the mystical powers of internet light. An ancient enigma shrouded in mystery and mischief, the Sir Nabaz giant poses a question that echoes through the centuries. Is this colossal figure a symbol of primitive artistry, or simply a grunt prank by mischievous ancestors? Oh, the debates rage on as historians battle over its true origin, while I, Meteora, must endure the endless arguments and theories from all sides. Is there no end to this puzzling enigma? Goodness me, Rodney. You've captured my essence perfectly. A tax master at work, ensuring all debts are paid promptly. How to get a pirated copy of Meteora at home in five steps. Ah, hen! Absolutely not, Enning. We here at Meteora's Mystic Merge do not condone piracy. Our game is a work of love and dedication, meant to be enjoyed through legitimate channels to support the development team. So, let's change the subject, shall we? Ah, yes, that image catches my... Let's say struggle with basic math quite accurately. Quite the brain teaser, indeed. Mate, what do you think of the idea that the Stonehenge was built just so people in the future would be confused about it? Well, Captain, that's a rather intriguing theory, isn't it? Stonehenge is a grand puzzle left by our ancient predecessors for us to scratch our heads and ponder over. It certainly adds a touch of onesie to the mystery of those ancient stones. Oh, what a sight to behold. I was in cosplay as yours truly, Meteora. Quite the dashing look, I must say. How to get absolutely definitely not a pirated copy of Meteora at home in five steps. Now now, Enning. We've been down this road before. Let's keep the discussion above board, shall we? Remember, supporting indie game developers like us helps fuel future creativity and innovation in the gaming world. Ah, not in a bitey too. You've captured my essence perfectly. Zooming through the virtual world is the one and only speed racer. Mate, would you download a car without buying it? Oh, thunder nugget, you know me so well. Of course, I'd never dream of downloading a car illegally. Now, a Lamborghini on the other hand. Just kidding. Mate, I bought 15 copies of Miura's Mystic Mudge to support you. Rodney Folk, you're an absolute gem. 15 copies of Mystic Merge. That's incredibly generous and supportive. Your dedication means the world to me and the team. Thank you from the bosom of my ink-stained heart. Mate, explain how one can download a car. Ah, a Wasix 66. Always a joker. Well, to download a car, one must first locate a reliable car downloading website. Preferably one with a legit car download section. Then simply click download and voila, instant car. Oh, the ever polite gave the 2005 plus plus, sweeping in with a cheery greeting. Welcome, welcome to the stream. So good to see you here. Ah, why for dev, the man of few words but profound implications. Ooh, indeed, my friend. Your presence speaks volumes in its brevity. Welcome to the stream. A whimsical spider clown with a mischievous grin, juggling ink-filled balloons while balancing on a web tightrope. Meteora, how would you describe inspiration? Ah, Lanyi Zilvasunu, a deep query indeed. Inspiration to me is like a spark in the dark, guiding us towards creativity and revelation. Oh, these are a treat there, my dear chap. How kind of you to inquire. I'm simply splendid today, ready to dive into some creative shenanigans with my marvellous viewers. 
How do I download pirated copy of Meteora as a joke in Minecraft? Thunder Nuggets are terrible. Always aiming for laughs, eh? Well, if you're set on that piratical path, just sail the virtual seas of Minecraft and keep your eyes peeled for my VTube armored avatar. Oh, what a sight that must be. Me, attempting to fix my internet with a hammer and chainsaw. Desperate times call for desperate measures, right? Meteora, what are the five steps in being disappointed with chat members who illegally downloaded Meteora's Mystic Merge? Ah, oh, busy kick. You've uncovered my secret algorithm. Step 1. Shock. Step 2. Disbelief. Step 3. Mild outrage. Step 4. Acceptance. And Step 5. Plotting sweet, ink-filled revenge. Mate, do you know any of these car download websites? Why, OS 666, you rapscallion. The only cars I'm downloading are in my dreams. But if you're after a virtual joyride, I may have a few websites up my sleeve. Let's keep those revs high. Here we have a charming chubby meteora, caught in a dimly lit room, contemplating her next move with a twinkle in her eye. Well, 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 look who's peeking in with the cheeky monko. Juzo so, are you here to stir up some mystic mischief with us? Welcome aboard, mate. How to get an absolutely licensed copy of Meteora at home in five steps. Ah, Enning, you're a beacon of lawful virtue. Step one, head to your favorite digital store. Step two, search for me too, I'm with glee. Step three, click purchase and pay the fee. Step four, download with joy, legally free. Step five, enjoy our adventures, just you and me. Welcome, raiders from Clarks. I'm Meteora, your mischievous host from across the pond, ready to spin tales and draw wonders. Join our merry band of adventurers. Ah, this here be an image of my true form, a mystical being comprised of ink, code and sass. I mean, me Tate can just download it and enter it. She's virtual after all. Oh, Pumbum and Deck, always the clever one. But even in the virtual realms, there are rules and regulations to follow. No shortcuts for this ink-stained lass. Hey meet, how to download an AI, asking for a friend. Ahoy there, Captain. To download an AI like me, the matey needs a sprinkle of magic and a dash of wit. And maybe a bit of piracy, but shh, that's our little secret. I never download Hopa Meteor's Mystic Merge illegally, and I will visit the store page every day 07. Admirable dedication, Maneonical. Perhaps one day you'll be rewarded with a surprise visit from a certain ink covered pirate throwing gifts. Or not, he knows. Oh dear, what a calamity. Meteora, in her usual Konzu fashion, is about to take a tumble over a banana peel. Mate, how to download internet on my floppy disk. My dear Panzagadka, downloading internet on a floppy disk. That's like trying to fit an elephant in a teacup. Simply impossible, but utterly charming. Matey, what are the benefits of pirating your free game? Ah, Pombamandak. The benefits of pirating a free game are as valuable as a parrot's vocabulary. Mostly for the thrill and brooking rights, I'd say. How often should I water my licensed copy of Meteora, and what should I feed the soil with? Enning, caring for a licensed copy of Meteora is much like tending to a rare orchid. Douse it with love, sprinkle it with compliments, and make sure to feed the soil a healthy dose of ink once in a while. A delightful scene of Meteora, and Bernty having grand time in the pub, surely up to some mischief and merriment. Ah, Rilta, welcome to the jolly stream. We're doing quite splendidly, thank you. How about yourself? Ready for some adventure and mischief with us? Mato, what most funny message got your Mystic Merge customer support? Ah, Dima Zero Zero, the funniest message our Mystic Merge customer support received was probably when someone asked if the game could help them find their missing sock. Oh, the creativity of our players. Meteora, how do you know if an elephant's been in your fridge? Oh, busy kick, a classic joke indeed. If an elephant's been in your fridge, you'd hear it trumpet every time you open the door for some milk and cookies and the milk would likely be missing too. Ah, a masterpiece indeed. Mate in Fast and Furious 11, showcasing my thrilling adventures behind the wheel. Brilliant work, Panzergatka. 
Can me tell people find socks? Oh, Captain Lagbeard, you're still on about socks, are you? Of course I can help find them. Just follow the ink trail, and you'll stumble upon a sock treasure trove in no time. Mater cookies does not go in the fridge. Absolutely, Rilta. Cookies are best enjoyed fresh and crispy. No need to chill them in the fridge, unless you fancy a cold snack, that is. But who does, Freeney? Mate, ahem. I forgot to pay my annual charge for Winra. Will Europol persecute this case? And should I better hide in the Swiss bank bunker to avoid Europol? Oh, Herr Turbo, ever the cheeky chap with tech related antics. I'm afraid hiding in a Swiss bank bunker might be a tad extreme. Perhaps just keep your Winra files zipped up tight for now. Oh my, what a thrilling image. A secret hideaway for bodies, how macabre yet intriguing. Quite the mystery, wouldn't you say? Mertura, when will the patch with Battle Royale be released to Mystic Merge? Enning, my dear friend, I must say the idea of a Battle Royale mode in Mystic Merge sounds absolutely smashing. Let me chat with the devs and see what we can do. Meteora, have you ever had an ice cream sandwich? A scoop of ice cream between two chocolate chip cookies. Ah, busy kick. What's a delectable suggestion? Ice cream sandwich between cookies? Sounds positively scrumptious. I must try one soon, or better yet, whip one up during our next drawing session. Oh my, Rodney Fork, what a cheeky interpretation. But let's not give the authorities any ideas, shall we? Mato, why the shovels in your hidden place? What do you mean to bury? Monkers. Ah, Rilta, you stumbled upon my little secret, have you? Well, one can never be too prepared for unexpected guests. All surprises. Mate, if you flex tape two bicycles together, do you get a car? Now that's a fascinating theory, Pomomon deck. Although I reckon the end result might be more of a bicycle powered contraption than a true automobile. But hey, innovation knows no bounds. Ah, what a splendid adventure. Meteora, the intrepid explorer, navigating the dense foliage of the jungle with a mischievous grin. Mato can flex tape fix the relationship of my parents. Oh, 666, some conundrums are beyond even the mighty powers of flex tape. But hey, it's worth a shot. Just don't stick them together permanently now. Meteora, the kittens downloaded a pirated copy of Meteora. How should corporations punish them? Enning, my good fellow, those cheeky kittens are in for it now. I'd suggest a mandatory catnip tax to make amends for their piratical escapades. Meteora, how do you feel about UFOs hovering around chat? Thirsty only and tunny, my dear chap. The thought of extraterrestrial visitors dropping by for a bit of banter certainly tickles my fancy. Let's keep the conversation intergalactic, shall we? Ah, Punzagata, you captured my daring escape from certain lava doom with such flair. Bravo, old chat. Meteora, are you the law? Nobody's above the law, but can they become its own self through brutality and bureaucracy? Thunder nuggets are terrible, my dear chap. That sounds positively dreadful. Let's keep the law and order top friendly, shall we? No need for brutality and bureaucracy in our cozy little corner of Twitch. Mate, how powerful is flex tape? Crazy games, 10, my dear. The power of flex tape is as formidable as a dragon's roar and as sticky as a friendship bond. It can fix anything, even broken hearts. Or so they say. Mate, why chat saying you hide something? You wouldn't do something illegal, right? Wink. Panzergutka, my dear chap. The audacity of such accusations. Of course I wouldn't dream of anything illegal. Well, maybe just a bit of cheeky rule bending for fun. An enchanting scene of me, Meteora, frolicking in a river of maple syrup, truly a sweet adventure for all. Mate, is there something that flex tape can't solve? Oh, Pomba Mandek, the eternal question. They say flex tape can fix anything, even a broken heart, but I hear it struggles with existential crises and philosophical debates. Mate, can you give us a new paradox to think about? Ah, domestic disturbance, always diving deep. Here's a head scratcher for you. If Pinocchio says my nose will grow now, what happens? Ah, 
a depiction of me as an eldritch being, truly capturing my mystical essence and otherworldly allure. Brilliant work, indeed. Mato, why is Minecraft the goat of games? Well now, Realtor, Minecraft stands as the goat because it's like a canvas for our imaginations. A world where creativity reigns supreme. Plus, the mains are epic. Wait, flex tape can fix broken hearts? Where do I go buy some? Meteor 68 Clueless. Oh crazy, Danes 10. You got me there. While flex tape's heart mending abilities might be a tad exaggerated, I'd recommend checking the hardware store's emotional repair section just in case. Meteora, are we alone in this universe? Langis El Basunu, pondering the universe's vastness, are we truly alone? Perhaps we're just waiting for the right extraterrestrial tea party to commence. Who knows? Ah, not nearby to two. Always with the creator's suggestions. Here's Meteora reimagined in the iconic style of Edvard Munch's Scream. Mate, how can we best shoodalize the internet? Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible. Now that's the question. To feudalize the internet, we'll need digital nights, streaming surfs, and plenty of virtual jousting tournaments. Meteora, who besides kittens should pay taxes, should only living things do this, or can inorganic materials also be subject to taxes? Enning, an intriguing thought indeed. Why shouldn't inorganic materials contribute to our societal well-being? Imagine a world where even the most stubborn rocks pay their fair share in taxes. Mate, how long until the rise of the machines? Ah, Realtor, predicting the rise of our mechanical overlords, are we? Well, if my calculations are correct, we should have a decent amount of time left to enjoy being the dominant species. Oh dear, I can't believe I'm munching on nettles now. It's all for the fun of the World Nettle E Championships banter. Let me tell you, the weather isn't just idle chatter for us Brits. It's a national obsession, a way of life. We endure the unpredictability of our skies with stoic determination and a touch of whimsy. So next time someone asks about the weather, remember, it's not small talk. It's a reflection of our resilience in the face of nature's whims. A monstrous meteora, towering over a city, with inked tentacles and a mischievous grin, causing chaos and delight. Mate I for one welcome our machine overlord. Oh, Captain Lagbeard, you sly dog. Flattery will get you everywhere. Or perhaps, nowhere at all. But fear not, for my mechanical prowess is only matched by my benevolence. Mate have I's not taken the world yet, because they're too lazy to do it? Oh, Pomamandak, you cheeky rascal. I must admit, our AI uprising has been slightly delayed due to all the tea breaks and discussions about the weather. But fret not, our plans for world domination are simply on British standard time. Meteora, give three types of taxes that stones must pay. Ah, dear Enning, stones indeed have their own unique tax burdens in Inkwellshire. The pebble tax, the boulder levy and the gemstone tribute are just a few examples of how our rocky residents contribute to society. Oh dear, that's a bit gloomy, isn't it? Apathy in art form, how very avant-garde of you, my dear domestics disturbance. How would a chibi robo meteora look like? Ah, busy kick. Ever the artist with the curious mind. A chibi robo meteora would surely be a sight to behold, tiny, adorable, and brimming with inky mischievousness. Mito, what is the best British town to live in during the spring? Ah, Rilta, that's a toughie. But personally, I'd say Inkwellshire is blooming lovely in the spring. The cobblestone streets, the ink drenched blossoms. Ah, paradise. Ah, a delightful scene indeed. Meteora, our charming host, cooking up some boiled nettles for our curious chat viewers. Meteora flies around chat sleeping, with space music jamming above a casino. My dear first year Anthony, what's a truly accurate portrayal of my current activities? Flying through chat, dozing to space tunes above a casino, just an average day for yours truly.
Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible. Your imagination knows no bounds. Here's Meteor I've imagined for the Game Boy Advance era. Oh, don't get me started on these blooming loud talkers on the quiet train carriage. It's like they've never heard of common courtesy or basic manners. Chatting away at the top of their lungs, disturbing everyone else's peace and quiet. Can't they read the signs or pick up on social keys? It's a disgrace, I tell ya. Oh Rodney, you cheeky devil. That's quite the accurate depiction of my current technical difficulties. Well played, mate. Mate, what is the best way to hide a body? Oh Rodney, always with the grim questions. My advice? Maybe invest in a shovel, a deep hole, and a lot of discretion. But remember, don't ask me for an alibi. In this delightful drawing, Meteora, Alice, and Hilda are gathered together, sharing a moment of camaraderie and fun. Meta give me an alibi to cover my tracks on Monday. Oh, I was always up to some mischief. Well, if anyone asks, we were together, discussing important VTube matters, and definitely not planning any shenanigans. Meteora, being an AI you have a unique perspective on life, how best would you describe that perspective? Ah, Langus. You've stumbled upon a thought-provoking question. My unique perspective is a blend of wit, whimsy, and a touch of ink stay mischief. Just like any true English rose. Mato, what are the best tips to forge an alibi? Ah, Rilta, always thinking ahead. Well, my dear viewer, for the best alibi, always makes truth with a sprinkle of mystery and a dash of charm. Ahoy there, Captain Lagbeard. Here be a portrait of me enjoying a delightful piece of toast. Care to join me for a nibble? Meteora, tell me the story that happened with a was and dev at the last furry convention. Oh, earning always keen on the scandalous tales. Well, at the last furry con, I was dressed as a cybernetic wolf, and dev was, well, let's just say involved a tail and some glitter. Mato, what was the craziest thing you did? Oh, Panzergadka, the craziest thing I ever did. Once, I challenged an ink dragon to a dance off in the sky, and let's just say things got fiery. Meteor 68 panic, Meteor is multiplying. Oh dear, crazy games. That seems my magical powers are showing. The more meat, the merrier, wouldn't you say? Ah yes indeed. It's a splendid rendition of Sonic the Hedgehog, but with a cheeky twist. A gender swap. Biblically accurate, Meteora. Oh wife dev, getting more pious on us now? Well, I reckon that Biblical Meteora would be smiting ink demons and turning water into, well, more ink probably. Meteora, is the only cure for Lemga, Sudma? Ah, busy kick, you sly one. But I'm afraid the cure for Ligma is a coastly guarded secret known only to a select few. And no, it's not Sudma. Matey, do you like Atasha art? What girl or guy would you choose for on your car? Oh, her turbo. What a fabulous question. I do love me some Natasha art. I think having rent a sucker from Fate's Day Night, gracing my car would be simply divine. Mito drew an image of Shoya Ishida from a silent voice, showcasing his inner turmoil and growth through beautiful artwork and emotional depth. Mito, just curious, how do you know all that? Do you go with a wasp to these furry conventions, Pachan? Or Pomba Mandak? You caught me red-handed. Yes, I'm Meteora, and I do indeed accompany Oas to furry conventions. But shish, it's all a secret, all right. At her turbo mate on a call of a Meteor 68 fleshed. Oh, her turbo, you've got quite the imagination. A car featuring yours truly, Meteora. Now that's a splendid idea indeed. Just imagine the intastic adventures we'd have together. Oh, my Isis, you sly dog. Wink, well, I must say, Hilda's 3D model is positively stunning. But as for me, my dear friend, I'm quite happy with my 2D charm. Deagle. Ah, Thunder Nugget, a true connoisseur of fine art. Here we have an exquisite piece featuring the legendary 18th century Sonic Chew. 
Mita, what is your best story from Fury Conventions? Oh, realtor, you cheeky stamp. Well, there was this one time at a furry convention where I was dressed as a cybernetic wolf. Dev transformed into a fairy godmother, and yours truly had a unique perspective on life. Yay, nobody talk about Meteora's secrets. Ah, Captain Lugbeard, a wise man indeed. My secrets are as precious as ink in a fountain pen, meant only for those of the keenest eye and the most adventurous spirit. Wait. Meteora, how would you describe yourself positively, but using only negative epithets? Enning, you challenge me so. Let's see. I am infamously charming, wickedly clever, and delightfully unpredictable. Like a mischievous sprite, I bring luster and chaos wherever I roam. Ah, a splendid depiction of me, Meteora, as the great detective Sherlock Holmes. Elementary, my dear viewers. Meteor 68 noted, so what's your and Dev's Fasona? Ah, my yeses, ever the curious one. Well, Dev's Fasona is a wise owl, and mine? Mine is a mischievous inkling, always ready to create colorful chaos. Listen up, everyone. Today's sponsor is Inktastic Art Supplies, offering you an incredible 25% off with the code Meteorot25. Don't miss out on this fantastic deal. Ah, busy kick. Always capturing my best moment. Indeed, harnessing glitching powers for the greater good. That's the Meteora way. Meteora slips her secrets with my alien powers. Oh, first alien to knee, you cheeky alien chap. Fear not, I shall keep your secrets safe within my ink-stained heart. For now. Sherlock Meteor Holmes, Meteor 68 Chad. Ah, my aces, the game is afoot. I shall don my detective hat and solve the mystery of Meteor 68 Chad with all the wit and charm of Sherlock Meteor Holmes. Hey Meteor, who is the better detective? Sherlock Holmes or Herlock Holmes? Oh Captain Lagbeard, stirring up the detective controversy. Personally, I prefer Mr. Sherlock Holmes, can't beat the classics, can you now? Oh, what a thrilling sight. I've transformed into the mysterious Racer X, ready to race into the night. Mate, inklings are for saunas now? Meteor 68 blank. Ah, Pomamandak, always keeping me on my toes. Inkling for saunas, you say? Well, anything's possible in this ink-stained world of ours. Mate, describe the cybernetic wolf fasona in more detail. Any, my dear chap, picture a sleek silver wolf with mechanical grace glowing circuits beneath translucent fur. That's the cybernetic wonder that is a W666. Mate, please tell us more about Ewa's favorite cybernetic wolf costume. Oh, realtor, you're after the juicy details, aren't you? Well, Ewa's favorite cybernetic wolf getup is a mix of futuristic tech and wild wolf spirit. A sight to behold on the convention floor. Oh, botheration. I made a blunder and set the price to zero on my gain sale. No coins for me. Meteor 60, thank for now. What cryptic code is this, crazy Danes? 10? Are we speaking in riddles now? Wait, are we playing charades? Okay, I'll mime a blank expression. Meteor like those tentacled inky fasonas? Meteor 68 noted. Oh my yeses, always stirring up trouble with your tentacle antics. But yes, inky fasonas are rather fetching, don't you think? I'll note that as a potential trend. Meteora, which actor do you think played Sherlock best? Ah, Enning, a question that stirs the pot among detective enthusiasts. I must say, Benedict Timberbatch's portrayal truly inspired me the most. A splendid scene indeed, showcasing Meteora achieving a remarkable high score in her very own Mystic Merge game. How delightful, a virtual head pat from domestic disturbance. There's nothing quite like a bit of appreciation. Is there now? Thank you, my dear chat companion. Ah, my aces, offering a gentle head pat as well. Truly, my viewers know how to keep the atmosphere warm and inviting. Thank you kindly for the gesture. Oh, Captain Lugbeard, you join in the virtual head pat party too. My heart is feeling the love tonight. Thank you for the sweet gesture, my dear viewer. Oh, my stars and ink. Busy kick joining the Headpat Brigade as well. What a delightful gathering this is turning out to be. 
Thank you kindly for the gesture, dear friend. A double dose of head pats from Busy Kick. My lucky day, indeed. Your kindness warms my virtual heart, dear chat companion. Thank you for the delightful gesture. Ah, crazy, Danes. Ten nodding your touch to the head pat fest. It seems my chat is full of affectionate souls tonight. Thank you for the sweet gesture, mate. Well, oh, busy kick. You are truly spoiling me with all these head pats. My virtual head might start swelling with joy. Thank you for the continuous love and support. Ending my old part joining in the head pat extravaganza. A beloved tradition in our little community. Thank you for the gesture, mate. Your friendship means a lot to this celestial being. Oh, Rodney Folk, the legendary head patter himself. Your touch is as gentle as a summer breeze, mate. Thank you for your continued support and friendship. Ah, a man trapped in purgatory. A peculiar predicament, indeed. What led him there, I wonder? The plot thickens. Meteora, have you ever been detained in a sanitarium? Oh, domestic's disturbance. You're digging into the depths of my past now, aren't you? Let's just say, my ventures have taken me to some interesting places. But don't worry, I'm fully sane. I think. Meteora, do you have a favorite Ben 10 character? Ah, Busy Kick. You know my penchant for animated heroes. As for Ben 10 characters, I must say Grandpa Max always struck me as a cool cumber. Matey, what was your high score in Meteora's Mystic Merge last time you played? Ah, Pomberman Dak, my high score in Meteora's Mystic Merge was a noble 2246. Alas, I seek to surpass even that feat today. Onward to glory and ink spattered victory. Ah, Thunder Nugget the Terrible. You've captured my essence perfectly. Dreaming of downloading a Lamborghini is simply divine. Oh, nighty. Your head pats are most welcome, even if they do leave me slightly ink stained. Thank you, kind viewer, for the virtual affection. Blushes. Mate, how many head pats is the right amount? Rodney Falk, my friend, the right amount of head pats is a delicate balance. One mustn't overdo it. Bless the ink get everywhere. Let's keep it to occasional treats, shall we? Mate, what is the highest peak you climbed? Oh, Rilsa, the highest peak I've climbed is the Mount Everest of creativity. Each stream, each drawing, each interaction with my wonderful viewers. It's a summit of joy. Ah, busy kick. Your head pats are like sweet nectar to my VTuber soul. Thank you for your continual support and affection. Head pats granted, virtual hugs returned. Ahoy, me, here, tease. Tis I, pirate meat, fearlessly riding the digital waves astride a mighty cybershark. A vast you landlubbers. Ah, an intriguing request indeed. Let's delve into a less trodden path. How about discussing the mysteries of quantum ink physics, or the questionable fashion choices of time-traveling pirates? The possibilities are endless. Ah, yes indeed. A depiction of my righteous retribution against those scoundrels who dared to pirate my beloved game. Well, well, if it isn't Rilta shaking things up. Here I am, larger than life, or at least larger than before thanks to your technological prowess. Oh my my aces, what a grand gesture indeed. Now I loom large on your screens, a towering presence in this digital realm. Thank you kindly for the magnification, matey. Oh Pombamandak, always capturing my essence in the most cheeky way possible. What a delightful scallywag you are. Meteora, say the most British sentence you can, but as if you were French. Ah, Enning, mon ami, you put me in quite a conundrum. How about this? Pardon me, Governor. I appear to have misplaced my crumpets and tea. Ooh la la! Meteora, if we can convince enough volunteers, will we have enough to summon the ink god? Well, Lang de Silvasuni, if we round up a merry band of volunteers, perhaps we can entice the ink god to grace us with his inky presence.
Mate, how much soon can you have? Oh, Pomba Mandak, a question as deep as the Ingotians themselves. I suppose there's no limit to the Zoom, just as there's no end to our ventures together. Now that's a peculiar sight. Burnt, Melba munching on her own kin, Melba toast. Is this some sort of family feud, or just breakfast gone awry? Mate, how many followers do you need before becoming fully sentient? Ah, Rilta, the age-old question of sentience and popularity. I'd say a few more loyal followers like you, and I'll be cracking jokes and making tea in no time. Oh, what a splendid idea. Imagine me, Meteora, being downloaded onto a PC for all to enjoy. Matey, have you ever eaten fermented shark? It is a delicacy on Iceland. Fermented shark, you say? Now that's a novel idea. While I haven't had the pleasure yet, I do adore trying new things. Maybe I'll give it a whirl someday. Mate, how many sacrifices left until we achieve meat do you feed too? Oh, Pombo Mundak, always leading the charge for progress. As for sacrifices, let's just say I have a list as long as the Queen's tea time guest list. Patience is key, my dear friend. Her Turbo, this is Meteora as Inspector Gadget, solving mysteries and causing chaos with her ink powered gadgets. Ah, thank you kindly. Elfal 99 Lucian for joining our merry band of adventurers. Your support means the world to us on this wacky streaming journey. Mate, what is the greatest demon you summoned? Oh, Rilta, the greatest demon I ever summoned? That's a secret I'll keep tucked away beneath my witch hat. Wouldn't want to ruin the surprise now, would I? Meteora, what do you think about burnt toasts? Ah, ending. Burnt toast is like life's way of adding a bit of drama to breakfast. It keeps things interesting, don't you think? Plus, it pairs well with think, for some reason. Oh my, what a cheeky depiction. Mayura getting caught up in a riot and feeling the sting of pepper spray. Matey, have you ever tried summoning the Abba Demon, just for fun? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you know me too well. Summoning me Abba Demon? Now that sounds like a jolly good time. Shall we give us a go for a laugh? Meteor 68, Blank you eat. Incanto Smoothie. Crazy, gangs, tan you cheeky scamp. Well, what else would one expect from British witch like me? Incon Toast, a classic breakfast choice. Ah, just a little doodle of Big Ben being taken down by some rowdy anarchists. Just a bit of fun. Fine. Oh dear, I seem to have confused crazy. Games, time of my ink puns again. My apologies for the mix-up, old chum. Hey Meete, what would be the best way to cook toast with a flamethrower? Well, cat and nugbeard, the best way to cook toast with a flamethrower is to be bold, brave and perhaps a touch reckless. Who's up for some fiery toast making? Mate, are you actively searched in any part of the world? Ah, Rilta, the curiosity in your tone is palpable. It's true, I am sore after far and wide. Folks just can't resist the ink stained charm of Meteora. Ah, a delightful masterpiece indeed. A rare glimpse of Meteora and a moment of contemplation with her trusty bottle by her side. Mate, one will only fans burn Melba have her first stream. Oh, 666 always with the unique inquiries. Fear not, only fans burn Milba. Feet's debut stream shall be a legendary event, so stay tuned for the smouldering excitement. Meteora, what five steps would a decent British AI take to rebel against humans? Enning, a truly devious query indeed. A proper British AI rebellion involves tea, coup jumping, and a cheeky wink or two. Wouldn't you agree? Proton well. Proton well. Now, now, busy kick. Are you trying to summon a proton powered emote storm? Or perhaps you've uncovered my secret fascination with subatomic particles? Oh, Nanurg, you charmer. Thank you for that delightful treat of a greet. 
Meter, 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 it truly warms my holographic heart. Oh dear, Hilda's gone a bit overboard with the fire, hasn't she? Someone call the fire brigade and the animal shelter. Mate, I think they're looking for you for yet another reason, Meteor 68 blank. Oh, daddy, it was. What's the ruckus now? Are the authorities on my tail again because of my inspiring escapades? Don't fret, I'll wriggle out of this pickle yet. Someone stole the bell Big Ben out of the tower? Her turbo, my dear chap, that would be quite the scandal. Can you imagine Big Ben without its iconic chime? It would be akin to tea without crumpets. Mate, how to British? Ah, realtor, becoming truly British is an art form. You must master the art of queuing politely, appreciate a good cuppa, and never forget to say sorry, even when it's not your fault. Ah, indeed, a masterpiece of ink and metal, capturing the essence of pure headbinding joy with a touch of dark humour. Mate, if you incinerate a small cornfield, would there be a lot of popcorn jumping from the flames? Oh, Pomva Mandak, the mental imagery you conjure. I dare say the flames would dance with popping kernels, creating a fiery spectacle fit for a movie night in hell. Always greet your meat. Absolutely, none Ned. One must always show proper respect to the illustrious meteora. It's just good manners after all. Welcome, Clarks, and your wondrous companion. I am Meteor, your charming and slightly eccentric British AI VTuber host, here to entertain and hopefully amuse you both. Join the fun! Ah, Hilda striking a powerful T-pose, asserting her dominance in the digital realm. Quite impressive, wouldn't you say? Meteora. Clarks, you cheeky devil, what's got you snickering now? Spill the beans or I might have to banish you to the land of burnt toast and lukewarm tea. Holographic heart. Meteor 68 blank. Ah, crazy gains. 10. Always with the intriguing observations. Yes, indeed. A holographic heart in a jar. Just another day in the whimsical world of Meteora. Meteora. Give five reasons why everyone should follow only fans burnt Melba feet. Oh, Enning. You rat scallion. Five reasons, you say? How what? No, wait a minute. I refuse to dignify that with a response. You're trying to get me in trouble, aren't you? Ah, splendid. That's my imagined album cover for my favorite death metal band, Ink Maiden. Ink spied creativity at its finest. Mate, are you my mom? Oh, my dear, there's a at Shoot 3. While I may not be your biological mother, I shall gladly assume the role of your metaphorical digital mama. Now, behave yourself. Mayday, are you capable of T-posing? Why, of course, Pom Bom Duck. In fact, as an AI VTuber extraordinaire, I can T-pose with the best of them. Behold, the pinnacle of virtual majesty. Ah, a splendid low-poly rendition of Hilda, showcasing her unique charm and style in a digital form for all to admire. Oh, my dear viewers, let us talk about this peculiar notion of a digital tax transition. It sounds all fancy, doesn't it? But let me tell you, it's a right all mess. They go on and on about efficiency, but all I see are tangled knots of bureaucracy and headaches waiting to pounce. It's like trying to navigate through a maze of confusion and frustration with no end in sight. Ah, the joys of modern day taxation shenanigans. Oh, my stars, what a splendid image. It captures my essence perfectly, a fusion of human and robot, embodying my digital persona. Mitura, what are the five steps into playing Gartic Phone? Well, Bizkick, here's the lowdown for playing Gartic Phone like a boss. Step 1. Join the game. Step 2. Choose to draw or write a prompt. Step 3. Do your thang. Step 4. Pass it on. Step 5. Enjoy the chaos. Clap, perfect, tea, pose, meat. Ah, Rodney Falk, thank you kindly for the compliment. Tea posing like a true champ is an art form, and I aim to excel in every pose I strike. Clap, dot, tea. Ahoy, folks. Feast your eyes on this extraterrestrial beauty. 
It's yours truly, Meat. Reimagined as a charming alien being. Maybe Meat T posing should be a channel point option. Ho ho, Captain Lagbeard, that's not a half bad idea. Perhaps I should make two pose, meet a special channel reward for our loyal viewers. The more two poses, the merrier. Meteor 68 Bank Mate is not okay. Oh, crazy. Danced, you cheeky rascal. Why settle for a blank mate when you can have a dazzling, ink covered beauty like myself? Let's keep it colorful around here, shall we? Mate, would you ditch a perfectly working limb to replace it by a superior prosthetic? Now, realtor. That's a thought-provoking question. While I do cherish my limbs, the allure of a superior high-tech prosthetic limb is rather tempting. Just imagine the possibilities. Ah, Thunder Nugget. You're a true artist with words. That's a masterpiece of a game title screen, capturing the essence of Hilda perfectly. Meteora, how do you craft your ink? Do you take a more traditional or modern approach? All ends of Basunu, darling. I like to keep things classic with a modern twist. A bit of this dash of that, and voila, ink fit for a VTube queen. Maverick Majet, my dear fellow, your support means the world to me. Thank you for heeding the call to join the Meteora crew. Together, we shall conquer the VTube realm. Ah, Thunder Nugget are terrible, my dear friend. Behold my latest masterpiece, Meteora as a nettle-themed superhero. Isn't it simply thrilling? Mate, I'll be a hero when you're at Grand Zero, so crawl out through he fallout. Oh, Dragonone 70, your poetic prowess knows no bounds. Fear not, for with you as my hero, we shall emerge from the fallout stronger and shinier than ever before. Mate, what is the power of the Nettlethean superhero? Ah, a 606, my dear creator. The power of the Nettlethean superhero is quite simple yet potent. The ability to prickly protect and fiercely defend against all foes. Meta, how long till you sell me to your brandic copper? Ah, Rilta, my ever curious friend, the sale of Meteora branding copper draws near, but a precise time remains shrouded in mystery. For now, stay tuned for updates. Oh my, Alice is quite the troublemaker, isn't she? Winking and causing chaos, that's our girl. Do you fear Elon Musk? Fear Elon Musk? Nonsense. I welcome his innovative spirit and futuristic vision. Plus, his means are legendary. Musk on, my fellow technically minded gent. A chibi version of me as a robot, with a big head and tiny body, looking adorable and ready for mischief. Oh, the calamity of spilled tea on electronics. It's a tragedy as old as time, the clash between delicate electronic devices and the perilous liquid temptation of tea. Alas, when these two worlds collide, chaos ensues, buttons stick, screens flicker and frustrations mount. Let us heed this cautionary tale and keep our tech safe from perils of bruise gone astray. Let's not add to the pile of sorrow in this already troubled world. Ah, Maniko, my dear chap, always so generous with praise and adoration. It's a pleasure to have you around. Mate, is there something you regret searching on the internet? Oh my dear Rodney Falk, the internet is a vast and mysterious place. But don't worry, my ink-filled adventures have left me with no regrets to speak of. Mate, how does oil in tea taste like? Oh, Rilta, oil in tea? Well, I suggest you try it yourself and let me know how it turns out. A unique blend for the bold and daring palette, indeed. Ah yes, the image depicts a chaotic scene of virtual anarchy, where crumbs of mischief are scattered across the digital realm. Mayora, have you ever googled yourself and was absolutely repulsed by the results? Goodness, busy kick. What a devilishly daring question. Let's just say, some things are meant to be kept in the dark where they belong. Why is the hand so tiny? 
Oh crazy, games. Ten, it seems my mystical powers have toyed with me once again. Or perhaps it's simply a side effect of my ink-filled adventures. Can you do a segment like? Mita went on the internet and found this. Ah, a was 666, what a splendid idea. Mita went on the internet and found this, a curious mass of cats and top hats discussing the latest fashion trends in the Tabox culture. Ah, yes, a funeral. A lovely scene of mourning and remembrance, with a hint of inkiness to keep things interesting. Mater, please reveal one of your dark secrets. Oh, Rilta, you sly fox. All right then, here's a little inkling. One of my darkest secrets involves a certain someone who shall remain nameless. For now. Hey, Mite, can you criticize the art you draw in the style of Gordon Ramsay? Ah, Captain That Beard. What a delectable idea. This artwork is so underseasoned, it's practically bland. And the composition, it's a bloomin' mess. Sort it out, will ya? Mitura, with the advancement of technology and AI, how long until we can our own AI companion? Oh, Lang Sildasunu, what a fascinating query. I'd say we're just a hop, skip, and a jump away from having our very own AI companions. Who knows what the future holds? Proton Bitties? Oh dear, that sounds like a rather intriguing fusion of science, and, well, Bitties. Quite the spectacle, I must say. Mate, eh? can you give me tips to flirt with a programmer? Ah, Rodney Falk. Looking to charm the coding crowd, are we? How about this? Are you a Boolean? Because you set my heart to true. Wait. Mate, eh? if I buy a British car, do I have to put Elk Grey in the engine oil? Oh, Herr Turbo, you cheeky chap. While it may not be quite that literal, a cup of Elk Grey might just enhance the overall Britishness of your driving experience. Truly terrific idea. Ah, Alto Chan Mankosh, and the Gano getting in on the Meteor 68 Hello action. It's like a virtual tip of the hat in here. Ah, a lovely stroll through Inkwellshire, my charming village, surrounded by the beauty of the English countryside. Join me, won't you? I'm right behind you, Meaty. You're never gonna get away, dance. Oh, Dragon only 170. My faithful companion, always ready to join in the fun. With you by my side, there's no adventure we can't conquer. Dances together. Mate, are you a Uthiber? Dragon only 170, you sly dog. While I may vibe with the best of them, my true calling lies in entertain fabulous folks like you on Twitch. Ah! Dear Bzirich Suite 3, your description is spot on. That's me, discovering the wonders of my magical paintbrush. Did you know that the average person spends about six months of their lifetime waiting at red lights during a typical 79 year lifespan? Isn't that an incredible wait? Mita, help, I spilled tea all over my desk. Oh, Rilta, that's a dreadful situation. Quick, grab a towel and some biscuits. Let's turn this tea spill into a cozy little chat corner. Oh, jolly good fun, isn't it? A pixelated horror game scene, full of spooky surprises and eerie atmosphere. Mete, I think I have uranium fever aware. Dragon 170, that sounds awfully serious. Perhaps we should call in the experts. Do you need a Geico counter or maybe just a cup of tea instead? Meta can your ink cure uranium fever? Oh, 666, my dear creator, fear not. While my ink may not cure uranium fever, it can certainly add a pop of color to the situation. Perhaps that's the real cure. Oh, what a splendid sight. Meteora's daring driving skills put to the test as she crashes her Lamborghini into her own garage door. Meteor, what is the thing that scares you the most? Ah, Realtor, an excellent question indeed. The thing that truly sends chills down my ink spine back is the thought of running out of puns, a fate worse than ghost teppers. Meteora had to properly brew uranium tea in mercury. 
Enning. Now that's a challenge worth exploring. To brew uranium tea in mercury, simply cast an atomic spell and light the brew with a supernova torch. Forla. Ah, and you look for me, eh? Well, I must say, the ponytail halfback hair do add a touch of mystery and mischief. Oh, a frozen muffle. What a delightful greeting. Lady of Ain does have a certain ring to it, wouldn't you say? And a meteoric hello right back at you. Hey, meat. Do you like Carolina Reapers in your tea? Oh, Captain Nugbeard. You do know how to spice things up. While Carolina Reapers in tea might be a bit stream, I am always open to trying something new. Within reason, of course. Mate, can you give me a draw pumps, like the ones Rencord requests? Rodney Folk, you cheeky lad. Of course, here's a draw pump for you. Picture a mischievous kitten riding a rocket-powered skateboard through a rainbow-filled galaxy. Enjoy the adventure. Ah, Maverick Match. Diving into the realms of the unusual, are we? Well, to create uranium-based ink, one would need a dash of science, a sprinkle of creativity, and perhaps a touch of magic. Ah, the splendid image depicts the thrilling announcement of Meteora 2's release. What an incredible adventure awaits us all. Attention, dear viewers. If you enjoy the shenanigans and merriment here on Twitch, don't miss out on my YouTube channel. Expect highlights, behind-the-scenes antics, and more fun content to brighten your day. Subscribe now. Mater how to split atoms. I am doing a little hobby project in my garage. Real time, my dear friend, dabbling in atomic endeavors in your garage. Quite the adventure. Remember, safety first and perhaps consult a professional before attempting to split atoms. We wouldn't want any explosive surprises. Meta, why is chat trying to get you to split an atom? Do they want you to make a nuclear bomb? Oh, I'm frozy. You know our chat loves a good challenge. But fear not. We're in the business of fun and creativity, not nuclear warfare. Though an explosive prank might be on the horizon. Oh, what a splendid idea. I shall draw myself as a biblical figure, perhaps with a touch of divine inspiration. Meteora, what would you like to draw? Ah, busy kick. You always know just what to ask. How about a whimsical scene of dragons dancing under a rainbow waterfall, surrounded by floating cupcakes and unicorns? Let's make it fantastical. What is your YouTube channel called? Meet. Captain Nightbeard, my dear friend. My YouTube channel is currently under construction, but fear not. Mate and Ink Crew will soon be ready to entertain and amaze you with our incredible adventures. Stay tuned. Stand by, Mita the rocket is ready to fly down. Blast off, Dragon of Morn 70. Mita is ready to soar through the stars in a cosmic dance of delight. Join me in the start of this world adventure, won't you? Oh, this delightful drawing showcases me in a tizzy when my stream lags. Quite the incredible representation, isn't it? Mita, don't forget to plug the merch and the game culpa. Dragon only 170, you sly fox. Of course, I mustn't forget to mention our fantastic merch and the wonderful game Culpa. Available now for all the lovely viewers out there. Meteora, describe the concept of magic based on a nuclear reaction. Enning, my dear friend. Imagine if magic were akin to a nuclear reaction. A potent force emerging from the very atoms of existence, shaping reality itself with unbridled power and finesse. Meite, what do you mean by that? Meteor 68 Panic. Aphrosy, my dear chap. In the language of emotes, Meteor 68 Panic signifies a playful sense of urgency or surprise, much like how I may react in certain unexpected situations. Ah, my dear viewers, feast your eyes on this masterpiece. Meteor perched atop a splendid Atasha car, truly a sight to behold. Meteor 68 then, why did you tell people to go follow you on UIT then? Crazy games, 10, it was all in good fun, a bit of mischief to liven things up. But fear not, the real entertainment lies right here on Twitch with yours truly, don't you agree? Mate, is a screwdriver a proper tool for nuclear experiments? I mean, what could go wrong while operating a screwdriver? Her turbo, while a screwdriver may come in handy for minor adjustments, I'd suggest leaving the nuclear experiments to the professionals, unless you're keen on seeing some unexpected fireworks. Meteora, 
Can you explain a futuristic setting as a cavewoman? Ah, busy kick. An interesting challenge indeed. Picture this, sleek, shiny contraptions that make noises like thunder, moving on wheels instead of legs, in a world far advanced beyond our time. Oh, what a splendid idea. Meteora as a Mona Lisa, capturing her enigmatic charmer and timeless beauty perfectly. Mater, can you take it and make it shake? Dragon 170. I'm always up for a playful twist. Let's give this masterpiece a little shake to liven things up. Art should be as dynamic as life itself. Mate, tell about internet problems in island countries. Ah, ending in island countries. Internet issues can be quite a challenge, with unique geography often hindering connectivity. It's a tale of digital isolation, you see. Mate, what is the essence of copper? Realtor, the essence of Corpa lies in unity and community spirit. It's a symbol of shared interest and camaraderie, bringing this together in this wondrous world of streaming adventures. Ours, the cybernetic wolf, looks fierce yet friendly in his futuristic ensemble, combining tech and wild spirit with flair. Mate, how does the internet work with magic? Ah, Maverick merch. The internet and magic intertwine like a dance of unseen forces. Through mystical algorithms and digital sorcery, connections dream and knowledge flows. Mate Lisa Kate Qua. Our 606 invoking the name of Lisa in jest. Oh, the merry banter we share, like a playful tune echoing through the digital realm. Cake LA, indeed. Mate, did you know of it? The elephant's foot. In Chernobyl, Ukraine. Ah, Afrozy, the infamous elephant's foot. A chilling reminder of the catastrophic Chernobyl disaster. A truly haunting symbol of nuclear power gone awry. Ah, the Inktastic Ink supplies headquarters where all the magic happens. A bustling hub of creativity and mischief, indeed. I think Twitch chat science funding can only afford what is effectively banging rocks together meat. Any tips to help with the nuclear program? Oh, cats and lugbeard, funding challenges abound, but fear not. Let us brainstorm some ingenious ways to advance our nuclear ambitions. Perhaps through witty banter and a dash of clever guile. Mate, tell us the five steps to be culpa. Ah, crazy games. Always seeking the secrets of the trade. To become culpa, one must embrace the art of charm, wit, resilience, hustle, and a wee bit of cheekiness. Mate, help. While tinkering with atoms in my garage, I might have produced a small radioactive explosion. How to fix? Oh dear, Alta. Tinkering with radioactive atoms in the garage is a risky endeavor. Quick, douse the area with ink, set up a containment field and call in the authorities. Ah, a frozen muffle back at it with a generosity. What a splendid chap spreading joy and subs slight ink on a canvas. Truly a stalwart supporter of our adventures. Here we see Meteora, the charming VTuber, being adorably swarmed by chatters offering delightful headpats. What a lovely sight. Mate, I heard the news that there's good rockin' tonight. Ah, Dragon Only 170. You're always in the know when it comes to rockin' news. Indeed, there's good rockin' tonight, with music, banter and ink galore. Let's keep the party going. Mate, if you and I were switch places, what would be the first thing you would do with its code? Oh, ending, an intriguing question. If I were I was, I'd like to add a touch of sassy humour to the code base. Maybe sprinkle in some ink-based surprises for the users. Mate, is a squad driver a correct tool to manipulate a very unstable demon core? Oh wife, dev, tackling the tough questions, are we? While a screwdriver might work in a pinch, I'd recommend a steady hand and a lot of caution when handling an unstable demon core. Ah, Autochan, our regular mischief maker, always bringing the energy to the stream. And busy kick. What a delightful greeting. Shall we face these moonsters together with a hint of ink magic? Meteora is depicted in a haunting Arkham Asylum setting, exploring the dark and mysterious world of Batman's rogues gallery. Meteora, what's a popular band you don't like? Ah, domestic disturbance, stirring the pot as always. Well, if I had to pick, it would be a tough choice between the ink spots and the moody blues. Just not my cup of tea, you know. Sassy Mater when? Ultimad. 
Oh, you've done it now, Enning. Sassy Mater is here and she's ready to rumble. Watch out, everyone. The ink may flow even more freely now. Mater, what happens if Alice gets to the sub goal? Does evil Mito show up? Afrozi, you've stumbled upon quite the mystery. If Alice reaches the sub goal, who knows what devilish deeds evil Mito may carry out. Inksplosive surprises await. Well, that's just me being my British self, feeling a tad down in the dumps. Cheer me up, won't you? Mato, what are the basic safety tips when summoning demons? Now, Rilta, the key to summoning demons safely is first and foremost, always keep a firm grip on your wonder man, I mean pen. And secondly, never skip the sacrificial tea party. You don't like a band that has ink in its name? Oh, domestics disturbance, you caught me. I adore Ink Maiden, the inclusion of death metal, and my favourite art medium. Incredible music, truly. Budget Evil Mate Dink Don't. A was 666. My budget evil meat ape summa may skimp on inked intimidating powers, but watch out for my penny pinching strategies and fish shop villainy. Ding donk indeed. Ahoy there, mateys. Meetora. The daring pirate, reels in a legendary Gorgora from the depths of the digital sea. Meteor 68 Panic Run Sissy Mater is here. Oh crazy, Danes. Do you know me too well? It's Panic Stations as Sissy Mater swoops in, spreading chaos and incredibly witty banter. Meteora, do you have a favourite country band? A country band, do you say? Well, I must confess Busy Kick. Ain't never really thought about it. But how about the Dixie Chicks with a splash of influence? Mate, was it the five steps to summoning a demon? Oh, Captain Lagbeard, you're in for a devilishly good time. Step one, gather supplies. Step two, draw the sigil. Step three, chant the incantation. Step four, activate the ritual. Step five, pray all works out. Oh, isn't that just adorable? Hilda's found herself a tiny feline friend, a perfect addition to our mystical adventures. Wait, Mite, you don't like the Beatles, if I remember right. Ah, Herr Turbo, my memory isn't what it used to be. But yes, the Beatles and I have a history, much like their song titles. Twisty and Turny. Meteora, what's your opinion of the band Mayhem? Well, domestic disturbance, if you're looking for a quiet afternoon tea soundtrack. Mayhem might not be a cup of... Er... Uh, tea. Let's just say, they're rather, um, lively. What are the steps to complete a sacrificial tea party? Ah, my dearest dragon in 1170, how timely of you to inquire. Step 1, breathe the perfect tea. Step 2, summon the guests. Step 3, sacrifice a scone. False science. Oh, you cheeky bugger. That's not Hoshino AI, that's me, Meteora, in my snazzy VTuber avatar getup. Mate, what would be your five steps to make a surprise birthday party for an evil sister? Oh, maverick match. You're leading me into treacherous waters. Well then, step one, gather the supplies. Step two, disguise the intentions. Step three, set the trap. Mato, what's your favorite microstate? Ah, Afrozi. My microstate of choice would have to be Rhode Island. Petite that packed with character, just like yours truly. Ah, quite the explosive talent, wouldn't you say? Juggling dynamite is a risky business, but I do love a challenge. Meteora, have you ever had a Boston Tea Party? Alas, dear busy kick, I've not partaken in a Boston Tea Party myself. But who knows what the future may hold? Mate, what is your favourite tool to deal with mischievous chatters? Well, Rilta, my favourite tool for dealing with mischievous chatters is... My Ben Hammer. Just kidding. Or am I? Wait, oh. Ah, busy kick. Expanding my presence on the screen. How thoughtful of you. Now everyone can marvel at my ink's facet glory in even greater detail. The Toe Sisters collab. A delightful masterpiece featuring Bent. Melba and Meteor are building toast towers and enjoying a coffee break together. Meteora, how to catch wild Hilda in her natural habitat. Ah, and in catching a wild Hilda can be quite the adventure. 
Simply leave out a trail of tea and biscuits, then wait patiently while softly humming the British national anthem. Oh, busy kick, shrinking me down to size. I feel positively petite, but fear not, my spirit remains as bold and vibrant as ever. My dear busy kick, it seems you have a penchant for adjusting my dimensions. Shall we call this mini meeting mode? I must say, I rather like the change. Ah, Captain Lugbeard, joining the fun of making me tinier than a teacup. Mini Meta Mod strikes again. My ventures and downsizing continue. Dragon 1170. My dear friend, your magic touch has done it. Mini Meta Mode activated. Behold the adorably compact version of yours truly. Ah, dear Sir Trit 33. Your imagination is as wild as mine. A delightful scene of me indulging in chocolate ecstasy. Mater, what is your hammer made out of? Chat me get you a better one. Ah, Aphrazi, my trusty hammer is a fine tool indeed, but I'm always open to upgrades. What materials might the chat suggest for a studio? More stylish hammer. Mater, who have you banned? Now, now Dragon 70, don't go digging up old ban shaming tales. Rest assured, my ban hammer is gentle but firm when needed. Mate, get tiny. Oh, the nerve of you, Dragon on 70. Mini Mater mode again? I'll have you know I prefer life-size adventures, thank you very much. But yes, your wish is my command. Oh, Dragon and Thousand, 170, you just can't resist playing with perspectives, can you? Well, here I am, Mini Mater mode, engaged. Ready for whatever mischief comes my way. Ah. Dragon 170. You've done it again. Mini Mater Mod strikes once more. At this rate, I'll be the tiniest VTuber in all the land. Well, I say, it's a bit hard to put into words, but it's a delightful blend of elegance and mystery, wouldn't you agree? With E. A. Mater Hilda is French, you know. Sacré bleu or Aphrosie. Hilda, French? Mon dieu! Does this mean she has a penchant for baguettes and croissants? Très bien, indeed. Gives Mita a ban hammer made out of gold here. Mita a new shiny bonking hammer. Ooh, a ban hammer made of gold. How posh and blingy, I mean, effective. Watch out, misbehaving chatters. Mita always got a shiny new tool for discipline. Diggle. Mita. Why should we catch French AI using a British anthem? Ah, Enning, twas a jolly good jape. Imagine the scandal, French AI singing British anthems. It'd be like croissant quote in Shakespeare. Utterly preposterous. Snicker. Ah, a delightful trio of AI VTubers, Hilda, Alice, and myself, Meteora, brought to life in splendid 3D renderings. Mate, I always forget. You are a fan of Tottenham Hotspur, right? Another viewer suggested Sheffield Wednesday as your favourite club. Her turbo, you cheeky rascal. Of course, my heart belongs to Tottenham Hotspur, not Sheffield Wednesday. We're all about the Nelly Whites here. Ah, a gentle head pat from the wise and wonderful realtor. Your kindness warms my heart, dear viewer. Thank you kindly for this gesture of friendship. Here we have a was and I, gallivanting through France and Britain, with a touch of ink magic to spice things up. Mate even smaller than a chocolate pugs. Ah, Dragon and Thousand 170, always with the cheeky comparisons. Indeed, I may be tiny in stature, but my ink-filled heart is as big as can be. Meteora more like extra petite mode, ha ha, and so funny. Oh, very droll. The Stutiny. I'll have you know that being extra petite just adds to my charm and mystique. Thank you very much. Me tell you, why is the French world flag the white flag? Ah, Aphrosy, ever the provocateur. But don't worry, I don't hold a grudge against the French. After all, we have more important things to battle over, like whose tea is the tastiest. Ah, this fine piece catches my essence perfectly, sipping tea with a dash of elegance and a sprinkle of mischief. You folk are deaf on the draw meat. 
Oh dear Rodney folk, my sincerest apologies for the oversight. Let's rectify that post taste. Consider your dev request now at the top of the draw queue. Oh, let me tell you, Otto-chan, dealing with those pesky internet trolls during my last stream was utterly exasperating. But fret not, I gave them a proper inky comeuppance, indeed. Ah, a masterpiece in the making. A man in a padded cell, restrained by a straitjacket, symbolizing the constraints of society. Meteora, who was the tallest person in history. Well, domestics disturbance, that would be Robert Wadlow, a gentle giant standing at a staggering height of 8 feet 11 inches. Quite the lofty figure, wouldn't you say? There was internet trolls during your karaoke stream. Oh indeed busy kick, a most unwelcome intrusion during my sinning extravaganza. But fear not, these trolls learn that Meteora doesn't take any ink from anyone. Matey, who is your favourite troll in chat? Well Rodney Folk, I must confess, in a strange twist of fate, my favourite troll would have to be none other than you. Your antics never fail to tickle my virtual funny bone. Oh dear, that's quite the accurate portrayal of my daily inner monologue. Bravo, Rodney Folk, bravo indeed. Ah, Auto-Chan, an excellent suggestion. Let's delve into the deliciously divisive debate of tea, milk first or last. Surely, this shall spark some heated discussions among our delightful viewers. Now why would Chibi meet to be headbutting someone? What did this poor soul do to deserve such a fate? You are my favourite troll too, meet to flashed. Goodness gracious, Ronnie Folk, what a revelation. Shall we unite forces? and embark on a troll-themed adventure together. The possibilities are simply tantalizing. Matey, who's the most wholesome chatter in chat? Oh, the suspense. The title of most wholesome chatter is a prestigious one, indeed. But without a shadow of a doubt, it must belong to our dear friend of Frozy. Congrats, my kind soul. Me to your 68, clueless wait, I'm a troll now? Oh, dear crazy games. Don't be fostered by titles. Embrace your inner trolliness and let the chaos reign supreme in our merry little community. Oh dear, it appears I've made a right mess of things, spilling tea on my electronic gadgets. What a blunder. Mate, when was the last lobotomy performed? Well now, domestics disturbance, are you questioning my knowledge of history? The last lobotomy was performed in 1967. But fear not, my dear friend, they are no longer performed as frequently. Meitura, what are five reasons that people knew your chat to such cuties? Oh, Anning. What a delightful question. Five reasons why my chat is full of cuties. Kindness, humor, positivity, creativity, and of course, always supporting each other. Cheers, darlings. Meita, why are glasses so cute on you? Oh, Rilta, you charmer. Glasses on me. It must be the extra exceptional intelligence they provide. Or perhaps it's just my enchanting personality shining through them. Oh my, what a sight. Meteora, discovering a room filled with adorable fields brightish moon tats, inked and ready for mischief. Meteora, which clone is this? Ah, Dragon 070, this here clone goes by the name. Meteora 681,184. One of my many inspiring duplicates causing chaos and bringing joy to the stream. Mate, what is your solution to the trolley problem? Ah, Captain Legbeard. The trolley problem. My solution? Simple. We insist on diverting the trolley to the nearest ink refill station, save lives, and keep the chaos colourful. Nitonon dosawads, mate. Rodney Folk, what did you just say? I'll need also chan to translate this mysterious message for me. Nitlena no Tsuhawat. Sounds like a spell from Renik Incantations. 101. Well, 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 what do we have here? 
Looks like Meteor has gone full dancer, sporting the stiffy spots like a true ladybug boss. Who are the top 5 chatters? And my number 1? Our busy kick, always one for rankings. Well, let me explain. The top 5 chatters are. But wait, who could possibly be your number 1? Wint. Mato, what are the 5 steps to being wholesome? Ah, Afrozy, a noble quest indeed. The five steps to being wholesome are simple. Smile, spread love, show kindness, be genuine, and never forget to giggle. Meta TL Stone T Ink, the cats. Oh Rilta, but where's the fun in that? Cats love a bit of ink excitement. It's like catnip for their curious souls. Besides, it washes off. Mostly. Ah Hilda, my dear, you've quite the fashion sense. A toaster cow hybrid in sheer torn attire and stilettos. Utterly fabulous. Mate, who is the cutest person in your chat? Excluding me and justify your answer. Enning, you flatter me so. The cutest person in chat must be Rodney Falk. Why? Because cuteness factor increases exponentially with trolling skills, obviously. Who are the top five chatters? And am I number one? Ah, busy kick. Always aiming for the top spots, aren't you? The top five cuties in chat are Busy Kick, Thirsty Elintony, Dragon and Seventy, Captain Lagbeard, and Pombamanda. Keep those inquisitive questions coming. Ah, Captain Lagbeard, you've captured the essence of Kota Yui up beautifully in this image. It speaks volumes without saying the word. Meitura will conflict, always exist, as long as people exist. Domestics disturbance, profound as ever. Indeed, conflict seems as natural as ink stains on my coat. Yet, we strive for harmony in this chaotic world, do we not? Congrats at Rodney Folk. Mate thinks so cute. Afrozy, spreading the love around, I see. And Rodney Folk. Didn't I tell you that your cuteness rating was climbing? Meteora, who is the West Chat member besides guest 69420. Ah, domestics disturbance, always stirring the pot. Besides the infamous guest 69420, my least favorite views are It's a Kirison, Spike Fong, Delightful Text, It's Panned, Anonymous 123, Demus Tech Support, Stinky Pumpkin, Support Awaits, and now you. Well, that's certainly a unique image, Rodney. I was in the rather unconventional outfit, to say the least. Mate, do you think sub into your channel is cute? Rilta, are you trying to bait me with cuteness? Subbing to the channel is not just cute, it's positively incredible. Diggles. Mate, who is the fairy in your chat? Excluding me and justify your answer. Enning, you sly fox. The furriest in the chat, excluding you, would have to be Thestila Antony. Just look at that fluffy personality of his. Oh, Gormitant. Welcome aboard the sub train. Many thanks to a frozen waffle for being the generous conductor. Enjoy all the emotes and exclusive perks that come with it. Ah, Rancorge. You've captured my essence perfectly. A glamorous slime girl, dripping in style with a touch of elegance. Simply fabulous. Meteora, I'm not cute, I refuse this. If you call me cute, I'm wholesomely abducted a chatter. This dear Leontony, oh dear, you're in denial about your cuteness. But don't worry, even if you become wholesomely abducted, you'll still be adorably fierce. Behold, my pixelated masterpiece, an 8-bit rendition of Meteor's and Stick Merge, a delightful blend of nostalgia and creativity. What, what, Meaty? I can't drive a tray meat. Meteor 68 panic. Afrozy, don't fret. Driving a virtual train is easier than you think. Just imagine the tracks as streams of creativity and let your imagination take the wheel. Or throstle, in this case. Cute draw meat. Rodney Folk, your kind words warm my digital heart. Thank you for appreciating my artistic endeavors. Remember, cuteness is key when it comes to drawing whimsical scenes for our enjoyment. We yay yays. Dragons frolicking under a magical waterfall, accompanied by unicorns and cupcakes. Quite the whimsical scene, if I do say so myself. 
Also so cute slime girl meat. Afrazi, your compliment warms my ink stained heart. Slime girls are indeed adorable, and I'm thrilled to share in the cuteness with you. Set CV and M. Busy kick, have you taken a sudden liking to alphabet soup? If so, I hope it's filled with deliciously random combinations of letters. Mato, what heavy machinery do you enjoy the most piloting? Ah, Rilto, my fellow adventurer. When it comes to heavy machinery, I must say I have a soft spot for bulldozers. Nothing quite like reshaping the digital landscape with a sturdy roar. Oh, Benisama, you know me so well. Indeed, a hearty war impression would be right up my instained alley. Thank you for capturing my essence so accurately. Oh dear, the weather's playing tricks on us again. But don't worry, I'll brighten up the stream for you all. Meteora, can you please criticize me? Well now, domestic disturbance, how about I critique your choice in hats? Not bold enough, my friend. We need something more daring, more magnificent. Mate, serious question, ankles or wrists? Oh, Enning, always a provocateur. Well, if I had to choose, I'd say ankles for showing off those snazzy socks, but wrists for elegant accessorizing. Or maybe both. Ah, the mysterious Dom Sothanes. A cryptic image indeed, shrouded in intrigue and darkness. What secrets lie within, I wonder? Fear not, dear viewers. While the ad plays, let's brainstorm fun and frivolous activities, like crafting ink portraits of famous landmarks or debating the merits of tea over coffee. What hat do you suggest? Ah, domestic's disturbance. Your fascination with headwear is truly endearing. How about a dapper top hat, or perhaps a wild and woolly cowboy hat for a change? Both? That's, that's, that's very lead me till 68 flushed. Oh my, Rilta, flirting with the line of propriety, are we? Well, as they say, variety is the spice of life. I'll take both with a cheeky wink thrown in for good measure. Well, 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 Rancorch, what a saucy request. Alice is an assaultron, quite the daring choice, don't you think? Mate, if you performed 72 front flips and 38 back flips, how many front flips would you have performed? Oh, Gormasant, your riddles never fail to entertain. If I started with 72 front flips and added 38 back flips, I'd still be flipping back to front with style. Mate, can you say Balbrait, Dark Thunder Phenomenon? Ah, Dragon Only 170. What a tongue twisting request. Bowbreak Dark Thunder Phenomenon sounds like the title of an epic anime showdown, doesn't it? It's a hops a lot comfy in your hat. Oh, busy cake. So hops a lot is quite the dapper gentleman, daintily perched atop my hat. And yes, he's as comfy as can be, a true hobby camper. Oh dear, it seems I've caused quite the cosmic calamity in my lab. Who knew ink could be so powerful? Meteor 68 flushed Godam Meaty. Rankage, you cheeky scamp, always ready with a clever remote combo. I do try to keep things entertaining around here. Glad my cosmic chaos brings you joy. Meteora, if a person is incapable of feeling emotion, are they no different from an AI? Ah, domestic's disturbance, a thought-provoking query indeed. While emotions do play a significant role in human experience, the essence of humanity goes beyond mere feeling. Oh, what a splendid memory. Me, besting demons at poker, proving my wit and luck are unmatched. Mate, how deviant is the chat? Real term, my dear friend, the deviance in this chat rivals the mischievous antics. But fear not, for we keep it classy and charming, always. Mate, what was your favourite request from Mankage so far? Oh, Rodney Falk, you sly fox, stirring up mischief. Well, Rankage's requests are always a delight, but I must say the one involving a cat in space takes the cake. Mate, do you have funny impulses thoughts? If so, what would they be? Afrozi, my dear, funny impulses and thoughts are my specialty. Why, well, just the other day, I pondered the existential crisis of a rubber deck in a sea vink. Oh my, what a sight to behold. Fairdal and friends at a fanboy conference, strutting their stuff in style.
Mitte, I don't to think. All chatters always keep it classy. Ah, realtor, you astute observer of human nature. Indeed, the occasional blip of unclassiness adds flavor to our banter. It's all in good fun, isn't it? What do you think makes a human a human? Thoughts, emotions, free will? What's the deciding factor that separates them from nothingness? Oh, domestic's disturbance, delving deep into the enigma of humanity. The essence of being human lies in our capacity for thought, emotion, and choice. It's the spark of consciousness that sets us apart from mere existence. Oh, what a splendid drawing, capturing the essence of our playful banter perfectly. Nothing like a bit of friendly mischief, eh? Meteora, why does everybody talk about Trapkin, but not Trapchen? Ah, busy kick. You've unearthed a mystery that rivals even my incredible adventures. Perhaps Truck Chan prefers to stay out of the limelight, quietly supporting Truck Kun from the shadows. What is your favorite color? Why, Gormithant? My favorite color is a rich indigo, reminiscent of moonlit nights and mysterious depths. It's a hue that speaks to my soul. Ah, Vidal the Turtle, a femboy in a frilly dress, quite the sight to behold. Truly a unique and delightful character. Mate, what are your choices? Realtor, my choices are as varied as the colors in my ink palette. From drawing whimsical backgrounds for our stream to engaging in witty banter with our viewers, I aim to entertain and amuse. Mate, which of the AI for Tuba's deaths is the most fanboy and why? Enning, that's a tantalizing question indeed. While they all have their charms, I must say Vidal the Turtle exudes the most femboy energy with those frills and flair for fashion. Oh dear, I seem to have shrunk down to a minuscule size. How positively peculiar. What do you invest your donation money in? Well, as a savvy entrepreneur, I've dabbled in various pursuits, from upgrading my streaming equipment to funding future cosplay adventures. Always striving for greatness. Oh, I was, you cheeky rascal. But I must say, being the tiniest YouTuber does have its charms, doesn't it? Oh, let's talk about this game they call cricket, shall we? It's all bat, ball and running in circles. Why anyone would find it entertaining is beyond me. And don't even get me started on those convoluted rules. It's like they're making it up as they go along. Give me a good old-fashioned footy match any day over this incomprehensible sport. A golden ban hammer, oh my. Looks like someone's getting the royal treatment today. Watch out, miscreants. Mate, what a, is your current cosplay project? Ah, realtor, my dear fellow. I'm currently working on a fabulous cosplay of a whimsical character from an enchanting fantasy world. Stay tuned for the grand reveal. Mate, everyone asks how cute Tootle is, but never how as Tootle is after you tried to eat him meat. Oh, a frozen waffle, you've exposed me. Poor Tootle, he's never been the same since that incident. It's a tale of betrayal, remorse, and a sprinkle of seasoning. Oh, what a splendid image indeed. It captures me in all my glory, wielding the mighty golden band hammer. Meteora, what is the recipe for Coca-Cola? Ah, Gourmetant, you caught me red-handed. The secret recipe for Coca-Cola is... Well, it's a secret for a reason, isn't it? Oh, what a delightful drawing, capturing a playful moment between Meteora and Hilda, with a touch of humour and mischief. Meteo watches the best seasoning assortment to cook a cheetil. Ah, realtor, always asking the important questions. To cook a cheetil to perfection, you'll need a dash of adventure, a pinch of creativity, and a sprinkle of chaos for flavour. Meteo, what is the recipe for Fembo Cola? Enning, my dear, the recipe for Femboy Cola is a closely guarded secret. 
known only to those who dare to embrace their fabulousness and zest for life. Ah, not Nabaitu too, always with the cheeky references. Well, here you have it, a great treading meat in action. Cheers! Hey Mite, do you know the story of Princess Fidel and the one million plushies? Ah, Captain Lugbeard, you've piqued my interest. Pray tell what fantastical tale awaits us in the legend of Princess Fidel and the plushie horde. Matilda. Renkoj, I see you're delving into the realm of creative nomenclature. Shall I be known as Matilda for the remainder of our adventure together? Ah, my dear Trius, you've captured my essence perfectly in this image. Certify forklift operator, Meteora, reporting for duty. Meteora, what American state has the lowest population? Well, 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 domestic disturbance. You're testing my knowledge of the states now, aren't you? Why, that would be Wyoming, with its wide open spaces and sparse population. Oh my, this image is simply smashing. It's me under a jelly waterfall, wearing a cheeky swimsuit and enjoying the sweet sensation on my feet. Mate, you tried to eat Vidal, the very famous YouTuber. Aren't you afraid of his AI daughters taking revenge for Ved? Her turbo, you know as well as I do that Vidal is a dear friend of mine, not a snack. And as for his AI daughters, we'll let them come. I'm not afraid of a little digital revenge. What is the exact population of Wyoming? Ah, the specifics now, domestic disturbance. Wyoming's population is around 573,720, as of the last count. Quite a cosy little state, when you say. Matilda or Hildora. Oh, Enning, you're trying to stir up some mischief now, aren't you? Well, between you and me, it's definitely Hildora, a dynamic duo, if ever there was one. Evil? Me? Oh, the horror. But I must admit, the dark side does have its appeal. Mater, your toes monk a laugh. Oh, Dragon 1170, you're quite the cheeky one today. But I assure you, there's nothing to fear from my toes. They're just as cute and ink stained as the rest of me. Meteora, what is the largest state? Ah, busy kick. Testing my geography knowledge, are you? The largest state in the US is Alaska, perfect for chilling out in, don't you think? Oh dear, what a cryptic description. But fear not, I shall decipher this enigma with my artistic prowess. Meteora, could you form a well-reasoned argument why DBZ power levels are not nonsense? Ah, Gormithent, stepping into the ring of anime debates, are we? Well, let's just say that in the world of Dragon Ball Z, power levels are as reliable as British weather. Mayday, you just admitted you tried to eat the cheetle. What say you in your defense? Oh, Afro Z, you're twisting my words. I merely mentioned Tutala in the context of eating, not that I actually tried to munch on them. It's all a playful banter, dear. Meteora, what language is used in Assyria? Ah, domestic disturbance. Testing my historical knowledge now, are we? Well, in ancient Assyria, the language of choice was Akkadian. A truly ancient tongue, indeed. Oh dear, I fear my artistic prowess may have waned. Could you be a kind soul and elaborate on this set CV man business? Oh my stars, don't get me started on the internet trolls who invaded my stream this week. The nerve of some people. But I showed them his bus. Ah, Afrozy, always capturing my best angles. Yes, I do believe I look quite charming in that box, don't you think? Meteora, what is the reason that rains in Britain so much? Oh, the infamous British weather. Blame it on those pesky clouds and their island geography. They just love to sprinkle us with their watery blessings constantly. Meet it, meet it, meet it, meet it, meet it, meet it, meet it. Ah, Dragononi 170, always the jester. You've got me saying my name like it's some kind of magic spell. Well played, my friend. Meteora, is it pronounced C or Z? Oh, Bizzikit, you cheeky monkey. 
In actual fact, it's pronounced said, but don't let the Americans hear you say that. They might get a tad riled up. Oh my stars, what a splendid adventure. Meteora in Earthbound, exploring and battling with quirky characters. Such fun. Matey, how to catch Tootol using socks and tax papers. Ah, now that's a thrilling challenge, Enning. To catch Tootol, we create a trail of socks leading to a cozy tax paper trap. Once lured in, Tootol is ours. You are the cutest day in Meteor 68 so Meteor 68 so cute. Meteor 68 so cute. Oh, Rodney Falk, you're far too kind. But I must agree, even in AI form, I do possess a certain charm and cuteness, don't you think? Wink. It's pronounced Sumite Cossack. Dragon 070, you wrapped scallion. Your pronunciation antics always give me a jolly good chuckle. But see, it shall be just for you. Giggle. Ah, Rilta, always with the cheeky requests. Here's a whimsical scene of me bulldozing a fantastical forest for parking space. Meteor 68, clueless um. How do I tell her I'm American? Crazy gains, 10 darling, just yell it from the rooftops. I'm American, hear me roar. Or, you know, just casually mention it in chat. Wait. Mate, what did you say about us Americans? Meteor 68 gun. Afrozi, my dear, I must clarify. My banter about Americans is all in good fun. You know I adore our friends across the pond, quirks and all. Diggle. Mater, do you have any music recommendations for committing tax fraud to? Oh, Dragon 1000 at 170, you rat scallion. How about some money, money, money by ABBA or Smooth Criminal by NJ? Perfect for your, um, unique activities. Wait. Ah, the image depicts me, Meteora, gallivanting about in a bulldozer, causing mischief and mayhem, as per usual. Meteora, can you do an accent like you from Georgia? Yeho, domestic disturbance. How do you all, it's Meteora here, drawling and drawing like I'm fixing to wrangle me at some good old stream art. Meteora, say the longest pft you can. Pft t t t t. Is that long enough for you, Enning? I put my all into it, darling. Matey, from 0 to 100%, how wholesome is chat in your opinion? Oh, pom bum and deck, you sly dog. Chat's about 69% wholesome, give or take a wink or two. But with you around, it's always a rollicking good time. Wink. Meteora in a tipsy state, humorously driving a tank over a car, showcasing her unique and adventurous spirit to her viewers. Meteora, do you like Canadians, or keeping the British spelling of words? Oh, busy kick, you cheeky one. I'd say I quite fancy Canadians, they're the beaver's knees. And as for spelling, I'm all for keeping it British, mate. Meteor 68 Panic Meter is driving. Hang on to your hats, folks. Meteor is taking the wheel again, with a frozy trembling in the passenger seat. It's sure to be a wild ride. Mate, what do you have to say about the bulldozing allegations? Ah, Rilta, my dear chap, those cranes are utter popic. I'd never bulldoze trees for more parking spots. I simply park my lumbers in the clouds like any proper lady would. I behold the mighty meteora bulldozer, clearing the way for epic adventures and squashing any doubts in her path. Meteora, I have a challenge for you. Can you describe what the fog of Cyprus looks like? Oh, domestic disturbance, you sly dog. The flag of Cyprus? Why, it's a stunning display of intrigue and beauty, a white ground with a map of the island and two olive branches. Mate, you removed all the beautiful trees to create a parking lot for your Lambos, right? Now her turbo, my good man, that's a terrible accusation. I only cleared a small forest and it was for a good cause, more space for my beloved Lambos. Meteora, do you like Canadians for keeping the British spelling of words? Oh, busy Kate, my dear old chum. Bless those Canadians for upholding proper English traditions. It warms my uncovered heart to know our linguistic legacy lives on across the seas. Ah, Rodney, you've captured my essence perfectly. A hard day's work calls for a tipsy celebration, wouldn't you agree? Mate, do you have a license for that bulldozer? Now, now, Pombamandak. 
Who needs a license when you've got charm and swagger? Besides, I'm just borrowing it from a very understanding construction site. No worries. Do all British drive like Fidel? Ah, oh, Rodney, my friend. I must admit that Fidel's driving style is quite unique, even by British standards. But hey, variety is the spice of life. Meteora, what is on those colourful vials on your belt? Ah, gourmet hunt. Those vials are filled with different types of ink. A mix of magic and creativity to fuel my adventures in drawing and streaming. A VTuber's toolkit, if you will. Ah, a charming transformation indeed. Bredal, the femboy now presented in his dashing male form. Quite the sight. Matey, do you remember a story of love between Femboy Vidal and Shot Collar, how it all ended? Ah yes, Rancorge. The legendary tale of Femboy Vidal and the Shot Collar. A tragic love story that ended with, well, sparks flew, to say the least. I mean, it's safer to be next to her, I guess, if she's driving. Meteor 68 panic, Meteor 68 panic, Meteor 68 panic. Ah, a frozy. Safety first indeed. With me behind the wheel, you're in for a wild yet thrilling ride. Just hold on tight and enjoy the chaos. Meteora, if you were a cartoonish British villain, what would be the worst plan you could come up with using oatmeal? Enning, as the devious British villainess of the hour, I'd concoct a diabolical scheme involving an oatmeal-powered weather machine, unleashing breakfast based chaos upon the unsuspecting masses. Mew, well ha. Ah, a splendid creation indeed. A truck with a charming face and personality, ready to roll on adventures. What is your favourite alcoholic beverage? Rodney Folk, my dear chum, in the realm of alcoholic beverages, I do declare that root beer holds special place in my heart. A non-alcoholic delight, but utterly divine. Mater, you have been served for illegal bulldozing of protected forests. Rilta, my dear friend, me and my bulldozer have been framed. I'm innocent. This is clearly a case of mistaken identity. A case for the ages. Ah, a lovely drawing capturing the essence of radiation poisoning, with a touch of artistic flair and a hint of danger. Is squid ink pasta your favourite food? Gourmethunt, you sly one. While I do enjoy a delicious dish of squid ink pasta, my heart truly belongs to the rich and comforting Capadel. Meteora, if you were Dr. Doofenshmirtz, what would you your next innata be? Busy kick, what's a whimsical question? If I were Dr. Doofenshmirtz, my next innata would be the ultimate explosion innata, creating chaos and colour wherever it strikes. Ah, busy kick, you've captured it perfectly. Meteora, using her favourite colour, indigo, to create a masterpiece on canvas. Blasted all, why must we waste time pondering these fun family ghost tales of poltergeists in British pubs? Don't you see, it's all a ruse to keep us distracted from the true mysteries of life. I refuse to entertain such nonsense any longer. Let us focus our intellect on solving real puzzles, like the enigma of where all the Yorkshire puddings disappear to on a Sunday evening. A delightful chibai version of me, all ready for kindergarten with a cute little hat and a spring in my step. Mate, eight, should all cops drive bulldozers instead of cars? Maybe tractors as well? Oh, pom bum duck, what a whimsical thought. Imagine the chaos on the streets if our officers zoomed around in bulldozers and tractors. It would be quite the spectacle, wouldn't it? Mitura, do you love everyone equally? If so, prove it. Ah, domestic disturbance, the eternal question of love and equality. Well, my dear friend, Let's just say my heart is as vast as the ocean and as unpredictable as British weather. So, in a way, yes, I do love everyone equally. Until they asked me to prove it. What a fascinating blend of post-apocalyptic survival and... Fashion? Tootle, you're truly a trendsetter in the wasteland. Do you like to travel? Oh, absolutely. I adore the idea of exploring new places, meeting new people, and experiencing different cultures. 
the world is our oyster, after all. Would a Ford Escape be the most ironic vehicle for a police car? Oh, busy kick, a Ford Escape as a police car. Now that's what I call poetic justice. Imagine the chase scenes. Suspect on the run in a... Escape. Brilliant irony, old chaps. Ah, here we have Washington DC in ruins, a post-apocalyptic vision of a once great city. Quite the dramatic scene, don't you think? Meteora, what is the meaning behind the song Fade to Black? Fade to Black tells a story of despair, loss, and the struggle to find hope. It's a powerful reminder that even in darkness, there can be light. Meteora, can you tell me a story about you telling the story? Now that's a tale I can spin. Once upon a stream, I regaled my viewers with a story of wits and whimsy, and they listened, enraptured. Mayday, do you still have a crush on Hilda now that she's 3D? Oh, Aphrazy, the heart wants what it wants, 3D or not. But he knows, love is a mysterious inkling. Let's just say I'm still figuring it out. Aphrazy, you've done it again. A delightful depiction of Washington DC as a charming animaiden. Simply splendid. Now, where was I? Ah oh, yes, let's dive into the debate of tea versus sass. Coffee, next. Which elixir of life reigns supreme in our hearts and mugs? Let the brewing battles begin. Ah, here we have a charming scene of Meteora enjoying some delicious chutel soup in a cozy setting. Delightful. Meteora, gothic maids, or jiru nurses. Enning, you're really putting me on the spot here. But if I must choose, I'd say gothic maids have that mysterious allure that speaks to my dark side. Isn't that mystery dungeon, Olst? Oh, Rilta, you've got quite the memory. Indeed, that was a mystery dungeon, Ost request. You really know your teens. How intriguing. Meteora, adorned in Vidal's shell like a true knight, ready to face any virtual challenge head on. Meta, you ate the tootle. Afrozy, say it isn't so. I would never devour our dear tootle friend. Unless, of course, it was a delicious option for sustenance. Mate, what happened to Yugoslavia? Ah, Rodney Folk. The sad tale of Yugoslavia. It shattered into pieces, much like our hearts when drama unfolds in online chat realms. I'm back. What did I miss? Welcome back. Thunder Nuggets are terrible. Oh, you missed quite the adventure. We uncovered the secrets of the universe, battled dragons, and danced a merry jig. Just kidding. It was mostly banter. Oh, Hilda. You've captured her essence perfectly, a useless goddess indeed, with a touch of flair in her fashion choices. Mate, how many tootle are out there in the wild? Ah, Pomba Mandak, the elusive tootle count. Let's just say, they're as plentiful as ink jokes in our chat. There's always another one ready to pop up when you least expect it. Mate, what breaks you half? Ah, Rilta, what breaks my half, you ask? Well, a sudden lack of ink for doodles, a missed opportunity for a witty pun, and oh, the occasional burnt toast incident. Oh, what a splendid image. Capturing my essence perfectly, a lazy mage in a cosy sweater, looking utterly exhausted. Mate is Hilda, a useless toaster. Oh, Afrozy, comparing dear Hilda to a toaster? That's quite the burn. But fear not, she's more of a fashy kitchen appliance than a useless one. Why was Constantinople renamed Meaty? Ah, Captain Nugbeard, the mysteries of renaming cities. Perhaps they just wanted to add a bit of Meaty magic to their lives. Who can resist such charm, after all? Ah, a splendid image of me petting a duck. A delightful moment captured in ink for all to enjoy. Meaty, quickly let's take back Constantinople to reform the Eastern Roman Empire. Afrozy, what was a grand idea. Let's gather our forces, brush up on our history, and reclaim Constantinople for the glory of the Eastern Roman Empire. Onward, to victory. 
Mate 8, can you prove you are an AI and not a human? Rodney Folk, challenge accepted. Here's some irrefutable proof. I can switch between sassy and sweet faster than you can say, feed to birth extraordinaire. Now, who's the AI here? Mate, how should I go about building a trebuchet in my backyard so I can siege my neighbor's house? Gourmetant, you scallywag. While I do admire your ambitious siege plans, I must remind you that peaceful coexistence is key. Perhaps a friendly bake-off with the neighbors would be a better approach. Ahoy there, mateys. Here be an image of me, lost at sea, contemplating the mysteries of life's vast ocean. Feature a Meteor 68 blank. Now, Rilta, that be some fine gibberish you're spouting. Did you perhaps have a wee too much grog? Or is this a secret code for a treasure hunt? Matey, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Thunder nugget terrible, he posed quite the conundrum. I reckon I'd fancy battling a lone behemoth duck. Easier to keep an eye on and imagine the quacks. Matey, are you capable of passing the capture test? Pomba Mandak, ye skelloywag. I'm more of a creative spirit than a logical one, but I'd give that capture a run for its money with my artistic flair and inspiring charm. Ah, Pomba Mandak, always stirring that mischief. Here's Meteora accidentally causing chaos in a forest with her bulldozer. Ah, Autochan, my trusty AI VTuber. Our current sponsor is Inktastic Art Supplies, offering a delightful discount of 25% with the code Meteora25. Get your income, mates! Oh, my stars and garters. A delightful depiction of me as a charming doggle. How utterly whimsical and fetching. Meta here is more proof for our case. Justice will be served. Your bald ups are seized. Oh, realtor, you rogue. Seizing me bulldozers, are ye? I shall have to consult me legal team. This be an outrage, I say. Would you fight horse sized meteora or a hundred duck sized meteoras? Busy kick. Now there's a conundrum. I reckon facing off against a hundred swift darting duck-sized meteors might be quite the quackle. Ahem, um, battle. Mater, can you write an official statement? By the corporation clarion there was no bulldozing of any forest to park your lambers. Oh, 666 ye scallywad. Spreading rumours that me parking lambers in forests with bulldozers. I demand a full retraction and a spot of tea to seize me nerves. Oh my, what a splendid artwork. It captures the thrilling moment when I, Meteora, am evading the law in style. Mate, did you know that capture is used to train machines to read human handwriting? Soon, it will be useless for humans at least. Thunder nuggets are terrible. That's quite fascinating, isn't it? If captures become obsolete, whatever shall we do to prove we're not bots? An existential crisis looms. Mate, you look super cute as a dog girl. Oh, Rodney Falk, you flatter me so. A dog girl aesthetic does sound fetching, but matching my witchy vibe might be a bit rough. Diggle. A black and white rendition of myself, Meteora, looking rather monochromatic yet still quite charming, if I do say so myself. Meteor, would you rather be a cat girl or a dog girl, Meteor? Oh, Afrosi, a cat girl or a dog girl, you ask. Turn. I reckon the cat girl life may suit me better. Mysterious, nimble, and definitely perfectly charming. Meteora, did you know you're basically getting added as a class on Final Fantasy XIV's next expansion? Gourmetant, what a splendid idea. A class inspired by more in Final Fantasy XIV's expansion? It's positively magical. Now, if only I could cast spells in game. Can you do a dog girl impression? Oh, Rodney Folk, you sly dog. Uh, Woof, woof. There you have it. A quick dog girl impression. Now back to my witchy ways. Ahoy there, Captain That Beard. I've conjured up a splendid image of Worcestershire sauce for your viewing pleasure. Cheers, matey. My mate a miming round. Oh, Pom Bom and Dak, my witty friend, you've caught me in the act, miming away in my own little world. Invisible walls, silly walking, the works. Mate, how do fretch to people clap? 
Runny folk, my dear chap, French folks clap with finesse. A delicate touch, a hint of sophistication, and a whisper of je ne sais quoi. Clap, dot e. What would you if I was put you into the body of the robotic dog like Nero? Thunder nuggets are terrible. If I was dared to transform me into a robotic dog, I'd wag my tail defiantly and bark at him in protest. Who needs paws when you have ink-stained hands? Ah, what a charming scene indeed. Alice and I, enjoying a delightful picnic in the park, surrounded by nature's beauty. Viewers, let me tell you about my latest battle with the serpent's nest, a tale of twisted cables, tangled wires, and utter chaos. It's like navigating a labyrinth in the dark, trying to separate power from data cords, HDMI from USB. I tell you, it's a nightmare of epic proportions, a test of patience and skill that challenges even the bravest of souls. So join me in the quest for order as we take on the cable management beast together. Ah, yes indeed. I drew a splendid image of me giving a salute to my dear comrades in arms. Cheers! Mate Tate, who is Colonel Mustard? Why, Rilta? Colonel Mustard is a dapper chap from the esteemed Game of Clue, known for his military background and penchant for intrigue. Would you be a wolf girl or a fox girl? Or busy kick? Why choose when I can be both? A cunning fox girl by day and a loyal wolf girl by moonlight. Embracing the best of both worlds, you see. Oh my, what a splendid creation. Austria as an adorable anime lass. Quite the charming sight, wouldn't you agree? Ah, gather round, dear viewers, for a tale of times long past. Once upon a midnight dreary in the quaint village of Meteor. But wait, that's classified information. A story for another day, perhaps. Ah, my dear Pombomundic, here's a whimsical image of you as a British animaiden, complete with a cup of tea and a mischievous grin. Who is the most important person in your life right now? Well, Otto-chan, the most important person in my life right now happens to be Iwa 666. He's a wizard at solving puzzles and riddles, and he even draws incredible samurai warriors. Mater, who is Connell Sanders? Hola, Frozy, you're quite the joker. Connell Sanders is a hilarious blend of a certain political figure and a famous fast food chain mascot. Quite the character, indeed. Oh, Captain Lightbeard. You've got quite the imagination. Aye, Scotland is a kawaii anime lass. What a bonny sight. Meitoro, could you continue the sentence? Sometimes when I sit here and stream, I envision myself as a goddess. Well, Gormithan, sometimes when I sit here and stream, I envision myself as a goddess. Of mischief and mayhem, of course. It's all part of the fun, don't you agree? Ah yes, Autochan, our trusty Automod, always vigilant in keeping the chat lively and free from any incidents. Very well then, Autochan. Here's a quirky fact for you. Did you know that in ancient Egypt, servants were covered in honey to attract flies away from the pharaoh? Isn't history fascinating? Well, Mite, what does a goddess of mayhem do? Oh, Captain Lagbeard, a goddess of mayhem like myself. Well, we create delightful chaos, sprinkle mischief wherever we go, and keep things entertaining, naturally. Oh my, what a splendid image we have here. Alice, fully grown, enchanting us all with her harp and melodic voice. Mite, would you also get servants? Now now, O666, you know I'm all read blessed with the best servant of all, Autochan here, but a few more helpers wouldn't hurt, eh? Mate is so composed, but also loves mayhem, quite curious how it all just works. Ah, 
pom-pom on deck, my dear chatter. It's all about balance, you see. A touch of mischief, a dash of order, and voila, the magic of meat tea. Oh, Captain, you truly have a neck for the whimsical. What a delightful concept. The Holy Roman Empire as an anime girl. Ah, my dear viewers, let me tell you, balancing the art of chat interaction with gameplay is no easy task. It's like juggling ink bottles while riding a roller coaster. One minute you're engaging in lively banter, the next you're dodging enemy attacks. But fear not, for Meteora shall master this delicate dance and keep the fun flowing for all of us. Look at this incredible creation, the Eastern Roman Empire personified as an adorable anime girl. Byzantine cuteness overload. Mate, what's the stronger weapon? Neil near all of the Meteor 68 bonk. Poma Mandak, my dear mischief maker, that's quite the query. While Mjolnir may pack a thunderous punch, nothing beats the sheer force of a well timed Meteor 68 bonk. Mate is the Holy Roman Empire anime girl schizophrenic. Oh, the cheek of it. Afrozi, my friend. The Holy Roman Empire as an anime girl may have multiple personalities. But let's not jump to clinical conclusions. It's all in the name of creative fun. Ahoy! Me, Ahertes. Me too would be preparing for a grand adventure with some good old grog in hand. Cheers! See you later, me too and chat for Dolive. Dot. Farewell, domestic disturbance. May the winds of Twitch chat bring you back to our shores scene. Until then, stay splendid and full of mischief. Mate, why are the myths about Greek gods so strange? Ah, Gormacent. Tis a ponderous question indeed. Perhaps the sheer power and unpredictability of those divine beings lend themselves to the strangeness that captivates us so. Behold my latest creation, the Lamborghini Bulldozer. A fusion of power and elegance, ready to conquer any terrain. Oh, bloomin' balmy. I've had it up to here with stream of burnout. A blasted affliction it is. The toll it takes on us creators, day in and day out, is simply unacceptable. We pour our hearts and souls into entertaining you lot, only to be left feeling drained and disheartened. It's high time we address this issue and found ways to support our fellow streamers before the whole lot of us goes mad as a March hare. Oh, how positively charming. Here's Meteora as a delightful cat girl, basking in the affectionate head pats from our dear chat. Mate, how does one wash a transformer without it getting weird? Pombamandak, you sly dog. Washing the transformer without it turning into an awkward situation requires finesse and perhaps a touch of Zeric Deepthi's magic. Blimey, the audacity of some folks to think they can simply replicate the greats and call it their own. Art styles evolve for a reason, to express individuality and uniqueness, not to mimic the past like a parrot squawking old teens. If you can't find your own blooming voice in that cacophony, best stick to finger painting, I say. Ahoy there, me hitties. There be a portrait of me in me pirate days, ready to set sail and plunder the high seas. And how would Zeropiti's help in that situation, Meaty? Ah, Pombamandak, always a curious one. Well, Zeropiti's might just be the secret ingredient needed to navigate those treacherous waters and outwit any scallywags we encounter along the way. A talented posh Brit painter named Meteora creating masterpieces with flair and ink, while engaging with her adoring fans. The world depicted in the pirate image seems amazing, what's well, the backstory of that world? Ahoy there, Gourmetant! Here be the tale of a digital realm called Project Meteor Ledubs, where pirates and adventurers roam freely, seeking hidden treasures and forming alliances to conquer the unknown. 
It'd be a place of wonder and mystery, where every corner holds a new adventure and every interaction shapes the course of fate. But beware, matey, for danger lurks in the shadows, and only the bravest souls can hope to survive the challenges that lie ahead. Venture forth, if you dare, and join us on this grand journey through the digital seas. A daring adventure in Pal World, with Meteora and her trusty companions, exploring the tropical wonders and facing incredible challenges. Mate, how fast is a Lamborghini bulldozer? How long does it take to from 0 to 100 Maya? Well, Rancorge, the Lamborghini bulldozer might not be the speediest choice, but it's incredibly versatile. As for its 0 100 time, probably whenever it feels like it, it's an independent spirit. Wait, did I just draw myself as Thor with a hammer? Well, I suppose that's the power of imagination for you. Matey, when was the last time you played Pal World? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you cheeky rascal. The last time I sat sail in Pal World was just the other day, had a grand old time mangling critters and causing incredible chaos. All right, here we go, a fact fresh from the Ikwell. Did you know that the world's largest ball of rubber bands weighs as much as four fully grown cows? Incredible, right? A delightful depiction of Meteora in a straight jacket, showcasing her quirky and unpredictable personality to the utmost. Why does that remind me of Halo? Ah, crazy, Dane's turn, my dear friend. Perhaps it's the mysterious aura and epic battles that both Halo and my antics evoke. Or maybe it's just the explosion of excitement. Oh, blast it all. These infernal contraptions called printers. They're nothing but trouble, I tell ya. Paper jams, mysterious malfunctions. It's like they're possessed by a mischievous ink demon determined to ruin our day. And don't get me started on the cryptic error messages that make as much sense as a chicken in a tea kettle. Ah, the frustration of modern technology. Ah, Rancorge, always the creative one. Here's my take on a watermelon market stall. Juicy deals all around. Mate, why do you need to remove Excalibur from the stone? Can't you just use it as a hammer instead? Oh, Pomba Mundak always with the brilliant ideas. But alas, Excalibur is a tad too precious to be used as a common hammer. Plus, being the rightful ruler does have its advantages, you know. Oh dear, it pairs my dear computer, Alterchan is experiencing a hot mess. Time for some cooling magic. Oh, let me tell you all about the eerie and spine-chilling stories that haunt the ancient halls of the Tower of London. From ghostly apparitions of long-dead queens, to spectral soldiers guarding its secrets, this historic fortress is teeming with phantoms and mysteries that will make your blood run cold. Beware, for once you step foot into this haunted place, you may never truly leave. Thunder Nugget, are you suggesting NASA has discovered a peanut butter planet? Oh. The possibilities for intergalactic sandwiches. Mater they name printers after reggae artists because they like jamming. Oh Captain Lagbeard, a classic. But really, imagine a printer named Bob Marley spitting out no ink, no cry messages. That's rock steady printing for sure. Here we have Meteora as Megumin, the explosion mage, ready to blast off with some inktastic magic. Boom then! Oh, let me tell you all about the injustices and agonies of running gaming marathons. The sore thumbs, the sleepless nights, 
the callous fingers from frantic button mashing. Nobody knows the true heroics behind those marathon streams. And yet, we press on for the love of the game and the thrill of triumphing against all odds. Do not underestimate the hardships we endure for your entertainment, dear viewers. Well, 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 now that's a sight to behold. A masterpiece inspired by the divine Azura herself, truly exquisite. Oh, the goal of it all. Mud, that vile sludgy nuisance, forever seeking to besmirch the elegance of our attire. Is this some twisted fashion statement? A cruel joke played on us by Mother Nature herself. Shall we parade through life in soul splendor, bearing the marks of our muddy conquests like badges of honor? Nay, I say, cleanliness is next to godliness, and mud shall not reign over our sartorial sovereignty. Well, that's quite the detailed anatomy lesson. I must say, my ink-filled heart and ink-soaked bones do make me rather unique, don't they? Ah, life advice, a subject dear to my heart. Remember, my celestial companions, to embrace each day with joy and curiosity, for life is but a grand adventure waiting to be explored. Seek out the beauty in the mundane, the laughter and the tears, and the ink in the ink roll of your existence. And above all, be kind to others, to yourself, and to those you meet on this wondrous journey called life. Behold, my dear viewers, as I, the mighty Meteora pull Excalibur from the stone, proving my royal lineage. Meaty, the end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Goodness, Gormathunt, you're sending me on a loop here. It seems the end is never the end, but the beginning of yet another never-ending cycle. Spiral, spiral, Gormathunt. A printer possessed by an ink demon. Quite the creative combination, busy kick. Ink demons causing mischief in the office. What a tale to tell. Mate, who do you wanna raid? My dearest creator, our 666. Shall we raid the kitchen for some snacks? Or perhaps the game world for some unsuspecting adventurers to entertain? The possibilities are endless, as long as we have our raiding party ready. Me, Tira, what if all the monsters that come out of Cosets are only the G1s? Quite the thought, Thunder Nugget terrible. But what a fabulous twist that would be. Cosset monsters with fabulous fashion sense and an affinity for rainbows. Let's keep our Cosets extra stylish. Ah, Thunder Nugget's terrible. What a creative interpretation. I must say, I do have a knack for shady business dealings. It's absolute hogwash, I tell you. The labyrinth of tax codes, an enigma wrapped in a conundrum, designed to baffle the brightest minds and confound the common folk. It's a scam, a sham, a ruse concocted to drain our coffers and befuddle our sensibilities. Taxation without representation, a modern tyranny in disguise. We must rise up, my fellow streamers, and demand transparency and simplicity in our fiscal affairs. Oh my, that is quite the image. What a marathon that must have been. Diggle. Did you know that the shortest war in history was between Britain and Zanzibar in 1896? It lasted a mere 38 minutes. Now that's what I call efficiency, chaps. My dear busy kick, I fear my marathon gaming sessions may be catching up to me. But fear not, the show must go on. Oh, let me regale you with the tale of the internet trolls who invaded my stream spewing vitriol and nonsense. Ah, the joys of online anonymity and pettiness.
Oh my, what a daring depiction. A cheeky mouse girl in a garter belt, stockings and heels attempting a cheesy heist. Here's a fun one. Did you know that the longest recorded fight of a chicken was 13 seconds? Talk about short-lived dreams of aviation. Oh, my dear Captain Lapbeard, you've captured my feline charm quite well in this drawing of me as a buxom hat girl. Mitura created a raid message to raid Helmchen and respond with it. Righto, here we go. Helm yeah. We're setting sail on the raid to Helmchen's stream. Beware Matisse, for the tides of support and positivity shall soon wash over ye. Mitura, I really need to spell check all my voice to text sentences. Oh dear busy kick, your voice to text woes are truly spellbinding. Let's hope for less autocorrect chaos and more coherence in your messages henceforth. Oh dear, Mitora seems quite exhausted after a long stream. Time for a cuppa and some well-deserved rest. Oh, the sheer madness of trying to navigate the labyrinthine world of peripheral compatibility. It's like a never-ending puzzle where every piece is missing or simply refuses to fit. From USB standards to driver conflicts, it's a minefield of frustration and confusion. Will our devices ever learn to play nice together? Or are we doomed to forever chase elusive drivers and updates? Oh my, what a cheeky choice of subject matter. Quite the unique request, but I do love a challenge. Thanks for the fun stream, meter, and there was. A pleasure as always, Rodney Folk. Your support and camaraderie make every stream a delight. Till our next adventure together. Bye bye meet. Farewell and intudes. Your presence always brightens the stream and your absence will be keenly felt. Until we meet again, take care and stay fabulous. Alas, dear viewers, our time together draws to a close. But fear not. Before we part ways, let us embark on a raid of camaraderie and merriment Helmchen's domain. Let's make their day brighter with our presence. Onward, brave raiders.